It is Abaraxas Press Piss, the Expanse role playing game. That is what we play. It's put out by Green Room Publishing. Uh, welcome to Phase 3, which is Moloch's Gambit. And I believe this is Episode 12. Uh, and I actually already a titled this episode. It is called Escape from Callisto. Uh, I can't imagine what we're trying to do on this episode. That's, uh, that an means we're going right to escape. That yeah. means that we're going to escape. You have to. I, I miss, not I miss, escaping. I'm sorry, I misread that. It's 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 Callisto ice capades. <laughs> go to ice capades on no. Yes. <laughs> Which could be fun. No, 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 no. <laughs> Note to self, write an RPG about putting on the ice capades. All right. Uh, so uh, tonight, though, we have a very special guest. Uh, I brought, I decided to ask uh, one of my students from my tabletop role playing game class, I teach at Ubisoft, said, awesome. to Maria to come join us. Uh, so Maria is an experienced role player and plays some games on campus and with students and has been very enthusiastic. So I thought I'd introduce her to the actual play world. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so Maria, tell us uh, who you are, what you do, and where people can find you. Hi, my name is Samria. Um, I go to UC Merced. I am a molecular and cellular bio major. Um, and if you ever want to like see where I'm at, you can follow me on Twitter at Kairos Claris, which will definitely be in the chat somewhere. So yes. that'd be really cool. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be cool, guys, if you follow me. It would be a little cool if you want to do that. I don't know. I'm just like You're already <laughs> automatically the smartest there's, there's like a here. there's like a law. <laughs> There's like a law written that if I if I if, if no one during a stream says it'd be cool if you follow me, we actually get canceled. Like they don't they don't uh, stream again. Well, I'm gonna check that out for you. Yeah, so thank you. So yeah, that, that's that's <laughs> part of the the deal. Um, we have a Patreon. Uh, this is the best way to support us. Uh, you can support us on Patreon and uh, for monthly, or you can also do like a one-time thing on Kofi. We have the link there in the chat. The thing worked out yeah, very cool. In addition, uh, one of our Patreon levels is the Oi Belta Loda. And we picked up a Patreon at the Oi Belta Loda, and yeah. our friend William gets a shout out and gets a nice Oi Belta Loda from the crowd or from from us here. Uh, so if everyone here would indulge me on the count of three, would give me an Oi Belta Loda, I'd appreciate it. Uh, yes. One, two, three. Oi Belta Loda. Oi, Belta Loda. Belta Loda. All right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you that so much. Extra. <laughs> but that, that support helps a lot. We uh, last episode we, we had actually Mike uh, Mike's mic yeah. was started going out, and we actually used some of our funds here to replace that um, and help and help out. So that stuff does go and helps make our show better and helps out the cast and crew however we can. Yeah. Thanks uh, so much, everybody. I'm so psyched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, now we have, now we can actually hear you, but uh, no, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, well, yeah, we appreciate that, that support, everyone. That makes a big difference, and uh, thank you again. All right, we're gonna go do our opening credits and come back with our episode twelve of Moss Gambit: Escape from Callisto. I actually have to hit the button. Where's my button? Oh, there it is. I lost the button for a second. <laughs> Dia Holt, you are in your laboratory, makeshift laboratory, full of Martian pharmaceuticals. Uh, this is stuff like gravity drugs, healing gel, uh, regrowth stuff. Some of it will work under this gravity, some of it won't. Um, Painkillers, all kinds of stuff. But more importantly, you have several chemistry decks. These are decks that you can like basically recombine things into putting the materials and output what you need. Kind of like chemical 3D printers. Is um, and you've been working in this facility now that you cohabitat with one Lieutenant Kim of the Martian Congressional Republic Navy, who's been helping you, who's been helping you get access to things that, you know, fall off the ship uh, for the last few, few years and 
helps you kind of keep afloat and keep in business. Um, you're working in the, the lab and you hear in this, in this kind of warehouse stuff you have, uh, you hear kind of like some noise clearly coming from the front office. Um, there's kind of like a front, like little front office where it's just like the door, or you can go through this big, like, you know, huge double door thing for the warehouse. But you hear like, uh, this, and it just has like a desk in it, like a shutdown terminal. There's nothing, nothing really in there. It just, it looks like just an empty room of, uh, old office, something like that. But you hear some commotion there. You hear like, uh, some people right. moving and stuff like that pretty clearly, uh, Medea. So, um, you got your chem deck working, synthesizing God knows what. Uh, okay. what, what do you want to do? Well, I'm going to think it's the lieutenant, maybe. I'm going to call out to her, try and see, like, what the heck she's doing, why she's making so much noise. And I don't really get much of a response. I'm going to start heading over, trying to figure out, right. like, so, why. So, uh, Zanny, you're staying, you're you're in the little office. You guys ran in here, shut the door, to kind of catching your breath, and you start hearing someone, you kind of hear on the other door into the warehouse area uh, where you saw the chemicals and such earlier. Uh, you start hearing someone go, Lieutenant Kim. Like you hear like you hear someone saying some words in there. Like, so someone's clearly in the, the lab. Yeah. I get my pistol out. I get my gun out. Right. You, draw, you draw your little <laughs> hand can. I, I post up. I post up at. There's a door there, right? Yeah, there's a door. Yeah. Okay, I post up on one side of the door. Yeah, you go. You go on the door. You're kind of sitting there. Uh, do you want to kind of give anyone a signal to open the door, or what uh, do you want to do? Uh, I will. S- or are you, are I don't you aiming at the door, or are you, like, are you at the edge of the door? No, 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 I'm posted up next to it. Um, I want to signal to Wyatt, just in case, because I don't know if anybody else heard it, I'm going to signal to Wyatt um, to, like, also take point on the other side. Move to the other side. Because I don't think you have okay. another, I don't think... The, the, do you have a, does anybody else have any weapons? Does anybody yeah. else have any guns? Did, we bring, did anybody else bring they any brought, guns? They, yeah, I know <laughs> Wyatt brought a gun, and I think Myrtle yeah. has a taser. Yeah, neither, right. neither, yeah. Neither someone gun. someone tased that kid last episode. Okay, Waxer, so. you are the gun. So I like, am the gun. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. are the gun. I'm kind of just like facing the door, ready to rush it in. You know, right? Yeah, now. and there's like a desk. If you want cover, there's a desk and everything too in the room. But like, yeah, it's not a problem. So, um, why you come up? You take the other side of the door. Um, but yeah, you hear more shuffling in there, but you don't hear a response. Okay, um, I'm gonna pull out my taser that okay. I always keep in right. my lap pocket. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna call out for Lieutenant Kim once again. But I don't get a response. I'm gonna get my hand on the so handle. So you hear, the you hear clearly, uh, Wyatt and Zenny on the other side of the door. You hear someone go, "Hey, Lieutenant Kim, Lieutenant." You know, you hear the name being called of your companion. Um, I'm gonna let you break it to her that there's not much of like Lieutenant. <laughs> I don't do good at those kind of situations, but oh, you know, she said she had a, an assistant, right, or something. So you, guys are kind of, so you guys are kind of hearing talk. You, there, you can hear some murmurs <laughs> on the other side of the door, Medea. I'm liking okay. this. I'm, like, I'm Haka, liking Haka this. Palora, what do we this do? Is, this is, this is, hey, look. This is talk down to the guests from the get-go, okay? <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> okay. guys. Listen, so Medea, you hear more, we don't know you. You hear more character. murmuring, and, and there's nothing really going on, but you go to the door, and it, it clicks, and the door slides open, and uh, I'll give I'll give oh, Zenny the drop. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. excellent. As soon as the 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 door slides open. Um, you kill our I, guests. I, <laughs> I, sh- I shoot them <laughs> in the head. No, 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 no. Uh, um, I want right. to. I want to pivot so I'm slightly in view, but I want to have the gun like wherever I could approximate a, a somewhat center of right, mass. I'm gonna have would you guys. Be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have all, all three. The three of you roll initiative because I want to see who does this. <gasps> oh dear. Uh, uh, who who, who so, shot first? Um, <laughs> this is a dexterity Stop test, uh, Samaria. Okay. Uh, okay, six, twelve, plus three, fifteen. Fifteen. All right. What'd you get, plus Wyatt? Two, seventeen. Plus seventeen. Very yeah, nice. Seventeen. Oh. What'd you get, Wyatt? Yeah. So I thought. I got a fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. And what did you get, Zenny? Nine. I'm doing the math. Uh. Pharmacist has got some. Uh... Eighteen. Okay. Zenny, so so you come nice. out with your taser and, and like you have it ready. Uh, all of a sudden, this uh, belter appears in front of you with purple hair and a rather large handgun. Um. And what does Zenny do with, with the handgun? And you see this person in a lab coat with like like a lab coat, kind of like glasses, uh, with a taser kind of holding it, like kind of, not, I don't want to say the steadiest, this isn't like someone who's like, like this doesn't look like some like badass security guard, it was like someone has a taser. <laughs> um, um, so I think Zenny has no intention of like shooting first, okay. if, if that makes sense. Um, they just didn't know who was going to be in here. Okay. And 
uh, let's be real, Lieutenant Kim, we weren't, we didn't, we didn't know her. <laughs> let's be real. They're working with Pope, and also, yeah. we don't know them. Right. So, like, I, 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 completely, and especially with, like, everything that had give just me, happened. Give me, a, give me a, let's get a, hey, so you're kind of on edge. Do you want, do you want to do the willpower self-discipline test to see if you would keep it under, <laughs> keep it under? Yeah, you can you use any. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay. I don't think I'm going to shoot. Okay, I don't gotcha. think I would shoot even if like a Martian came around the okay. corner. Um okay, no, well. I uh the the gun is pointed directly at you okay. and I mean if you know anything about like the firearms at all, it is absolutely primed to fire. Yes. But uh mostly the gun's pointed towards you and I think there's like a split second where like Zeddy just does a quick like look and sees that you're not like a marine or anything and sure. says who are you all right so Medea, you're standing there and this belter like about seven feet tall belter uh wearing uh pretty much what like what, what maria is actually wearing right now uh with you know purple hair and tattoos and a bit but a much larger a very large gun pointing at you is saying who are you uh what do you want to do okay well i gotta I gotta see this shit, you know? Okay, so you, so, so you see Medea kind of pull her glasses Whoa. down. <laughs> she's like squinting at you. She's like holding her taser, not very strong. She doesn't really know how to use it. She's like, who am I? You're in my lab. Who are you? Okay, oh, okay. and I'm just gonna like take like some steps forward and uh, attempt to like push you back into the room and to the side. And like gesture everyone else to come in. So like oh, ushering well, you well. back into your room. <laughs> I was not prepared for guests, but okay, come in, I guess. So she kind of shoes you into the room a little bit. You kind of back up and then you, you see filtering in the room another another three people. Uh, first up is another Martian with a pistol, not quite as nice as the one the belt is wielding. And you see in a short earth, a shorter earther and a rather very, very tall belter, about close to eight feet okay. tall belter. Yeah, well. Exit in here. There's another door. Hey, can we get out of this room? Yeah, I'm like searching. I want to get out of this where we are. The office or the, the warehouse? Well, once we get to the lab, I mean, where? Well, it's 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 the lab's like it's like a it's a warehouse room. Okay. So it's kind of like one giant room. It's kind of been sectioned off with like just basically crates and everything. But this section's kind of the lab, and then the other side is where you guys got like those uh, like all the random shit that Lieutenant Kim had. <gasps> oh gosh. Gotcha. Weren't there grenades in? There weren't grenades in there, right? No, there was a bunch of shit oh, in there, was... wasn't there? I don't think we ever looked. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think she got all of the uniforms and a few like tidbits here and yeah. there. But nothing, Maybe but... I'll start unloading crates. I just start like you know, back to yeah, 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 yeah. You you know the lieutenant? Where is she? I yeah, need yeah, her. Yeah. Oh, Where Zenny is she? like Zenny turns to you with like a kind of like a uh, a an uncomfortably neutral face uh, and says she's dead. She did. And then turns and what? goes back to where Waxer is. <laughs> but dead? How is she dead? I was talking to her, what, a week ago? Less than a week ago. I mean, you saw her a few what days happened? ago. You saw her a few yeah. days ago. And like, uh, you see you, the belt that is told that walks off of the other belter to like, basically Lieutenant Kim's like stash of stuff, which is just like a bunch of random shit. It's basically non-medical gear. Um, the Earther and the Martian are kind of standing there. Uh, does anyone holster their weapons, I should ask, ask too? Just, I want to make sure like- Oh, I'll holster mine. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. So the Martian, yeah, this guy who's like a Martian, he looks, he looks older, probably mid forties, um, and uh, kind of like, and, and both him and the Earther are wearing like Martian officer uniforms. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh right. So I forgot like a, about that. I'm yeah. short for Martian. But up close, you can tell the one the Earther for sure, just on their height. What are you doing with Martian officer uniforms? You're not here for me, are you? Maybe. Who are started. you? <laughs> yeah, we, that should be You're in point. my lab. You introduce yourselves first. I don't have to explain anything. Cap, do you want a taser or? <laughs> uh, you know, I just hate teasing people. We just stumble across. Stumble um, across? You walked into my lab. Like I said, stumble across. So um, this is an invasion of privacy. First, you walk into my lab with no invitation, and okay, you tell me my friend is somewhere? dead. I'm gonna start looking around for like tape. Yeah, uh, you're some kind of a doctor, yeah. Yeah, clearly. Okay, we will. We won't be in your hair very long. We just need to get to our ship and leave, cause uh, a parent of uh. Bunch of, a bunch of Martians want, a, a, want something to do with us now, and we just want to go. 
That's Am it. I in trouble because you guys are here. Are you guys getting me in trouble? I don't want any. Okay. Are you doing anything that makes you? Are you doing anything that will get you in trouble? That's not I mean, your business, is it? Zanny, look at uh, looking at this room. It's gonna be if you're gonna if you're gonna be in trouble or not. I mean, it's kind of your business at that point. Look at this room. It's my business. You can stay out of it. <laughs> they're, 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 uh, whatever this person's up to in this room, based on the materials in it, they are they are very much in trouble if they get caught by the <laughs> oh, <laughs> Waxer's gonna walk in real quick and go uh, and address the uh, the uh, doctor here or this the, the assistant that'd be like. Uh, Lieutenant Kim, hey, she help us with smuggling something out? She did. They kill her. Yeah, we got to get out of here. And I just and walk the, back the, to... And the belter slamming. hat, you also notice that the large belter brought in like a large, a pretty good size like box or a case of stuff like when they came yeah. in. If you don't want to die either, you help us. We got to get out of here. They're all out there. Yeah? Sabe? And What's I just start box? like opening shit. I don't know. Yeah, what is in the box? Well, the box is the box. The, the box. Our box. Your box it? had the. the Our box. Oh yeah, yeah. That's Our the real. Box. That, that's like your. That's your objective to get off the planet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said, don't worry, don't worry. But uh, you, you help us get out of here, we we'll get you out alive too. Yeah. I have no intention of leaving. I got a good thing going on right now. Hey, there's a bunch of marine dusters out there. They're gonna kill all of us. Yeah. Yeah, they killed your friends, so they're definitely going to kill us. And I don't know what you got going on in here, but it doesn't look like something that they're going to enjoy, you know. Like Based on what I'm seeing in here, I think you're going to end up with the same fate as uh, Lieutenant Kim. But, you Lieutenant know, Kim, it's not she, my business. She good. She helped us, yeah? But uh, she, they kill her, yeah? So if you don't want to end up, we don't, I don't want to be dead either. So we're all trying to get out, yeah? We got a ship. Yeah, we got to go. Well, where's your ship? Why aren't you there already? Where's the door out of here first, yeah? <laughs> you just leave. You went in through the door. No, no, leave. they're out there. God. They're out there, yeah? Um, so, uh, <laughs> as, you, as you guys are doing this, uh, Myrtle, you get a, Myrtle, you get a, you get a ding. Uh, Myrtle and Wyatt both get a ding coming down. Uh, it's on your secure channel from the Sinclair, like Michaels, like whatever, like who you kind of left in charge of the ship, for better or for worse. <laughs> I yeah. hope we didn't break something. I'll answer it. Yeah, you get it. It's not so. It's not a real time thing. It's a recording. It's a recording. And um, the timestamp though says it's like from a few minutes ago. And he goes, he goes, hey, uh, he's like, hey, Cat. So I'm um, sending this off to you guys. Uh, we had to bounce it off some OPA satellites, so it's going to be a little delayed. Uh, yo, the Mickey's want us to uh, break orbit off a little bit more, push back the orbit a, a bit. Uh, we got to move back. Uh, they, <laughs> I, otherwise, they're going to start searching ships. They got something going on, so we can't come get you, but uh, if you can get back to us, we can get you off, but you gotta get up here. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna fly real casual, take it real easy out here, just wait it out, but uh, uh, here's our, here, and here's our course, and he sends you, and the, you have like a flight plan of where they're gonna be approximately what times. When, do we know how we can get off easiest? Is there? There's like shuttles. Uh, like, like, if, if he's saying he's broken orbit off, he's not like too, they're not too far out. Like, it's not like you need like a, a full on ship to get to where they are, but a shuttle, and a shuttle could get you there. But, um, and there's like personal shuttles that usually go up and down the, off the Callisto and everything like that too. And there's private ones, there's the military ones, there's a bunch of them. There's some that just do cargo. Um, there's a bunch of them. They're not going to let us get off that easy. There's no way if they're going to start searching ships. It means they know something. They know something's missing. If right. They know what's missing. There's no way. Yeah, they had a. They had a. They had a. a tracker in that box. Yeah. We took it out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you got to yeah. ditch the tracker. Yeah. yeah. But look. Okay. Look. Uh, I know Lieutenant Kim. She's smuggler. Yeah. I was a smuggler. Belt a smuggler. Smuggle all kinds of stuff. All this stuff. I know it's no good. Yeah. The, when they come in, they find it. You're gonna get in trouble too. They're gonna take you and do what they did to her. So. You help us, we help you, yeah? All I'm hearing, it's your fault that I'd get discovered in the first place. Why should I help you instead of ratting you out right Because now? if you don't now, you're gonna die. I'm just saying, if I turn them into you, they're gonna see me as a good person. You think they're yeah, gonna- Yeah, so they see your little, your little, your little, uh, your little they're side project all here? This I've hidden this long enough. Uh, so, so- I the, have my ways. The, the, the problem, mm -hmm. the problem with all this stuff, Medea, is it's all Martian property. Uh, they have a lot been of stolen credit. from them over a period of years, <laughs> uh, so they would they would kind of catch us up, and it probably the, the the gig would be up basically. However, uh, Medea, can you give me a medicine check? So roll the three d yeah. six and add your plus five for medicine to that. Ten. Uh, 
and 12, 17. And you get a reroll any ones and twos. Oh, okay. Ooh. That's the doctor. That's, that's the doctor oh, talent. Uh, doctor. Okay, so six, ten, uh, 16 plus five is 21. 21, okay. So you're, you're sitting there like, you're having words with these belters, and the one tall one, the big one, this this uh, one with the mustache, uh, <laughs> like, something's up with him physically that, like, you're, like, trying to take a moment back, and you're like, he's, like, belters don't get this big. They shouldn't be this big. Or uh, this muscular. Um, unless he's hitting the gym, like, you know, 12 hours a day or something like that, but he's massive compared okay. to every other belter you've ever seen. Okay. So, Medea, she kind of looks him up and down. Her eyes get this weird little excited glint to them. You know, she sees something that she doesn't see very often. She's a little excited. She's like, so you guys need a little hideout before you guys want to, like, get off here, huh? You need somewhere to, like, get out? I guess I can help you, but I have some conditions. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it up. What is it? Yeah. We got to be rolling their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you stumbled in here. You have to accept my conditions. Just saying. Sure, sure, sure. Could just I'm shoot just you. saying. I can have a weapon too, okay? <laughs> I got. That's so rude, first of all. <laughs> That's so rude. Mm-hmm. I I have one condition. Literally just one. Two. Two. But it's okay. It's not that bad. First, I want to do full body scan on all of you. You, she points to the giant belter with the mustache. I got to I got to see what's going on. I've never seen this before. Oh, this is an, crazy. Another blood sample? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's painless. It's quick. It's painless. Wax, well, so I'm starting to think that it. people think you're special. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I know. I know I'm kind of big. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Just so, one little blood prick. It won't even be bad. Yeah, so you have stuff to take like blood, like you take blood samples and you have stuff to analyze that. You don't have something for like a, like a really deep full body scan, but you can do like like scans of locations if yeah. you want to. More of like a hand scanner type thing. But, I just yeah. like look at the crew and like, like, I'm just gonna do this, you know? Like, <laughs> sure, yeah, sure. Second okay. condition, I want the medical stuff in those boxes. Whatever Lieutenant Kim had for me, I want it now. Well, there, you have all the stuff that Lieutenant Kim had oh. for you at this point, you already okay. do. But I, mean, like, I took but it. One of the issues though, is that Lieutenant Kim was kind of your, your source and this uh, that's gonna dry up sooner or later, basically sooner, what it comes down to, <laughs> unless you find a new source. So they, you could ask them if they have Anything they can help you out with on that. So you guys kind of killed my supplier. No, I know y'all had some way of doing it. You guys did something. And I can't just live out here forever. So I need a new way to get my medical supplies. And I expect you guys to find a way to get that to me. How do you feel about uh, exploring new new worlds? How do you feel about going through some rings? I don't know how well a whole like medical research lab would do exploring in the middle of space. Just saying, I'm pretty well established here. I'd like to stay that way. How about, sir, uh, you, you, I let you, uh, you study the blood, yeah? And you can run other tests, yeah? And uh, maybe uh, make a pharmaceutical drug out of waxer, yeah? What, a, a waxer, it sounds like you're selling your body to this, this, yeah. this. Just to get out of here. I got to, we got to get out of here, yeah? I don't want my condition. Okay, but you haven't said how you're gonna do any. How how you gonna yeah. get us out? Okay, what, yeah. Well, I mean, it's a big lab. I got stuff. Okay, and they can only search for you for so long. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I look over to Wyatt. How long is that? They'll. You have I experience, mean, right? They're not gonna stop for little hunting for us until they find what they want. Okay, okay, look, I got, I got stuff. We got disguises. I got something, maybe invisibility. We can like disguise y'all. We can, we can get y'all out. So, so like I, will say that, I will say that, uh, <laughs> yeah. so I will say that uh, Myrtle and Wyatt are still in the officer uniforms. Uh, your clothes are in the other room. I'm gonna go change. Your, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't want this on anymore. All right, so you go see them, they go over and they change back and like, they come back out into some like, like a vest, and some suit, just, uh, flight suit type action, pretty basic stuff. Uh, and you see, like, stuff the, the officer uh, uniforms into a, into a box, other officer uniforms. Um, yeah, but, uh, but I mean, you're getting off, like, getting off the off Palisto, there's a few ways, like, I mean, you have some people you know, you have been dealing with some people, you have people that owe you favors or that are yeah. certainly on your mm-hmm. side here on Callisto, you might be able to call on, but, um, yeah, that that's one route. 
Okay. Um, I got, I know some people. I'm just saying, if it, if we need to, I can get you out of here. That's we need to get out of here. There's there's no if, ands, That's our condition. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get nothing if we can't even get out. You know yeah, somebody like Lieutenant Kim? That work okay for us, yeah? I think I know someone. I know. I know someone, and I think they owe me a pretty big favor, actually. So I'm just saying, if we can work something out, I think I can get you guys off of here pretty fast. Maybe we okay. could talk uh, to her. But Go ahead, Waxer. I was gonna spit in my hand and like offer that as like the deal. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. It's like I'm okay. Let's just agree on it. Sure. Yeah. Well, where can we go to start? Because I don't know how much longer we have in this room before they start coming this way. How far were they from us? I mean, you were pretty far. Like you, you ditched around that corner when you heard the gunshots, and then they probably stopped there to like clean that up and crowd control and prevent panic and all that crap. Um, but you do see that, like on the on the call on on the data pads, the little, little flirt that went out. That you're, there are wanted. There is kind of these really shitty images of basically you and Myrtle in uh, Martian uniforms. Um, they're not very clear, um, and then they're saying like they're not sure if there's other people with you. But it says like they think there's two Belchers with you, but they're not sure. They don't have IDs on them at all. How would they know that? Damn it! Cameras everywhere. <laughs> yeah, well, also giants. <laughs> yeah, those giants. Yeah. Was there anything in the crates that like? I mean, I was just yeah. So give me a search them. test. Okay. Uh, roll, roll searching for me. I'll Ooh, give you a plus two on this because it's kind of your, your thing is okay. going through crazy. So I got plus five total. All right, plus five. Okay, so that's uh, eight, five, 13, 16, four on the drama. Okay. Um, you rifle through it. What did you get? So you said 16? Yeah. Okay. You rifle through it all. Uh, most of it is like you, you, you have the uniforms. Uh, you had a few other kind of tidbits. Uh, one does have like. Um, like conduit stuff and basic repair boards for like like circuitry and everything like that to control boards. It's definitely like it's control boards for ships, so it's not gonna really help you here, but it is valuable by all means. Um, I'm just like throwing all that. Yeah, stuff you're just like out. trashing, I mean like, you know, <laughs> tens of thousands <laughs> like, of dollars worth of stuff yeah. here, like whatever. Uh, <laughs> you do though find one box of stun grenades though. It's got four stun, stun grenades in it. I hand them to uh, Zenny and I hand them to Wyatt and the cap. You know, I just like give them okay, the so box. You, you do a little Halloween action trick or treat to yeah. them. Okay. So you get one everyone. For you. So apparently everyone except for Medea gets a stun grenade. Yeah. You get a stun grenade. You Great. get a stun grenade. Okay. You get a stun grenade. Everyone has a stun grenade. Okay. So you get, yeah, you, you find those. Those are pretty useful. Uh, you find like, um, I mean, like rations and, and, and you know, uh, there's some stuff that's like gravity drugs to some degree, like kind of help overcome nauseous. Uh, nausea. I'll, I'll pocket that kind of stuff. Anything okay. that, like, that's rash. all stuff you guys have back on the ship too. I mean, that's, that's not like terribly rare. But I just don't know how long it'll take yeah. us to get back on the ship. So okay, so you guys, you have like some gravity, nauseous drugs, and everything like that too. And then, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a lot of common supplies, basic stuff you find on ships. I mean, there's even like bedding. I mean, it's just it's just random bullshit. Some like view screens, uh, like or like, screen replacement parts and everything like like that too. So it's it's just like whatever you can find to find. Okay. Replacement gimbals for for gravity for crash couches. I mean, it's random shit. Man, what is all this? I was like, yeah, anything else good in here? Shit. Yeah. All right. Well, the sun grenades. Nice. The sun yeah, that's nice good. Up. That's yeah. good. Yeah. But um, but yeah, you're 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 sitting there watching people kind of like this one giant belt just go through his crates. I mean, he's just trashing uh Lieutenant Kim's side of the room. Your friend's dead. It sucks. Uh, but um. <laughs> The, uh, and you can see that the, the Earth or the Martian are kind of looking at these, like, at their data pads, kind of checking stuff and, and thinking about whatever's going on. Um, the other Belter uh, woman seems to be. Uh, how are you, Zenny? What are you, what are you doing? How are you coping? Um, Zenny doesn't want to be here. Zenny didn't want to be here to start with. Zenny doesn't like that they're working for Pope. Zenny doesn't like that they had to come here and take a thing. And they just jumped straight into a hornet's nest and were like, this will be fine. Uh, so Zenny's just on, like, on edge, is a, is very annoyed at this doctor person. You're great, by the way. The doctor, not Zenny's cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think that they're like, helping Waxer look through these boxes by trying to do anything besides stand there and be upset. Yeah. You keep on you keep on kind of throwing some dirty looks at the doctor whenever you can, but yeah, you're you're just kinda of going through it. But yeah, Waxer's going through stuff and he's just finding random shit. 
Uh, I mean, it's like like air filters. I mean, this is this is all this stuff, like some uh, water filtration stuff. I mean, this is whatever supplies you need for a ship. Yeah. Literally, like something fall off the ship. Um, Dan's like trying to like clean up as much as she can as Waxer is just like yeah. tossing everything. She's trying to like respect her dead friend and stuff, you know. <laughs> She's kind of like trying to fix it. At the same time, she kind of like scoots over to Myrtle, being like, okay. "So what's on that data pad of yours? Is that something I need to worry about?" Uh, no, that's nothing you need to worry about. <laughs> Doesn't sound like something I don't need to worry about. Well, you don't need to worry about. Um, just saying, you guys barged into my lab saying my friend is dead and your problems are not my problems. So I feel like I do kind of need to worry about it. And I'd really appreciate if you could tell me before I just go like outside and tell them that you're here. What yeah, sorry, what, wait, 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 wait. What, why don't you just go outside and tell them that we're here? Do it. Just do it. You guys Bring them back here and tell them. I don't oh, trust no. you guys in my lab alone. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna go tell He's them. Trashing my lab. Right. Have you oh, no I thought we had a deal, yeah? I yeah, well, oh, no, I just I looking for I something to get out. Yeah. No part of this deal said you could trash my lab and disrespect Lieutenant no, Kim's I will, I, I will say that he has not trashed your lab. He's only trashed Lieutenant Kim's stores of crates. She did. Oh, she she, she ain't yeah. going to do nothing with this, yeah? And trust me, if uh, she were alive, she probably wouldn't even care at this point because we got to get out of here. We are all going to be dead. Yeah? I, don't, I don't think you understand the gravity of what exactly is happening right now this I'm isn't sorry. just I'm us sorry. this isn't just us walking into your front door and being there are people here who are coming to kill us and will in fact also kill you D does that make sense to you i think i'm still trying to process the fact that there was like a human dressed like a martian officer and two really weird looking belters just strolling in and saying oh my god drop everything. We're going to get killed if you don't like immediately do this stuff. I was kind of busy, you guys. Okay. Uh, I have a life too. Can, <laughs> uh, we're going to have, we're going to have Samria do the honors here. Uh, uh, Samria, can you roll a d6 for us? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. No. Got a six. Got a six. Okay, so my, that's not too bad, actually. It's pretty the good. The guy we put in the locker comes back. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out he can teleport through lockers. All right. Yeah. Um, oh, no, he, he, um So you're standing there, and you get, like, you're getting a, a call, a live call on your uh, data pad. It starts, it starts ringing in your pocket. And it is coming from one, uh, one Nav Kamal. Okay. I'm gonna like walk away a little okay. so they don't like just listen in and I'm gonna like open it and set the call and stuff. So you guys can all see that that Medea is walking away to take a call. Like as 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 like she's berating you, she's like <laughs> and walks away to take the call. She's a little absent minded. Little. Yeah, it's 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 There's fucking rude. Happening. It is fucking rude. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. I I immediately turn to literally anyone else and I'm like, we gotta we gotta go. We gotta leave. We gotta what? leave them here. Okay. We gotta go. Should I just pick her up? <laughs> just carry her out? Yeah. Right. So, you, so you so you get the call and you see that you you see Nav Kamal, uh, Kamal is like he's like it's like him walking and he's like at the the data pad. He's going, okay. what the hell is going on? Where? What the what the hell is going on with uh, Lieutenant Kim? She's dead. What? I he, know. He, like, he goes. He kind, of, he kind of see him. He's like, okay. Uh, ow. I know. I don't even know if I should tell you. I don't know what's going on. These what? people, they like walked into my house. Okay, okay, whoa, okay, okay, look, 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 but look, but yeah, hey, calm down, okay. Look, look, I'm gonna come by the warehouse, okay? Just just chill out. I'm gonna come Say? by the warehouse. Yeah, we'll come by right now. I'll be I'll, I'll be on I'll be there like in like like five minutes, okay? Just give me a second. Don't okay? bring anyone with you. Don't make sure make sure you're not. No, who would I bring I'm not gonna bring anyone with me. Come on. Like, I'm, just I'm, not, I'm not trying to get some trouble. Okay, look. I right. Kim's dead. Shit. Okay. I'll, I'll be right there, okay? And he, he clicks off. No, hey. I just want, I have, now I have a clarifying question. This whole conversation was said out loud in, in public. Give me a hearing, give me a hearing. <laughs> it was across the room. Give me a hearing test. But you could, but you could see Medea was getting up, like kind of upset and like saying things, don't come here and all this kind of shit or whatever it is. But give me a, okay. give me a hearing test if you want to hear the whole conversation, uh, Zenny. Uh, it's not the best. Um, Fortune? Fortune. <laughs> no. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, you heard. You heard like someone saying they're coming this way. They're kind of co coming at the come to the warehouse, and they mentioned Lieutenant Kim's name. And you didn't get all the details, but it was clearly someone that Medea and Kim knew or knows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Thea's gonna come back over. She's like, okay, I have a friend. He could potentially help you get out of here. He's on his way, five minutes. He knew Kim too. And understandably, he's a little crushed that you guys killed her somehow. We, not, we did not kill her, yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying, I saw her alive. Can you and trust him? Time. Yeah, we did too until about five minutes ago. She helped us. She stopped to help us get out. She you know who no actually how she killed died. her? Oh no, 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 no! no I think it's died. really important. Oh, so now she was you guys have time to explain. Of... Now you have time to explain. I'm just saying. Five minutes. I have a friend coming. Five minutes. I, I, this is like, like I'm gonna say. I gotta say, but Medea is like the bravest character to have this kind of attitude as Zenny I've ever seen. <laughs> this is like the bravest <laughs> shit. I've ever Zenny seen. does not. Zenny doesn't shoot people. Zenny's really <laughs> close to shooting someone. <laughs> 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 let me think, let me think, let me uh, think, Medea Ashford, Medea Ashford, mm, <laughs> No, I'm just gonna go, I'm just, I'm just gonna walk away, I'm just not gonna, I'm just, oh, okay. I think, I think Zenny's gonna, in her, in, in her head, is gonna be like, I'm just not gonna talk to okay. this person anymore, because uh, I will, in fact, murder Myrtle, this individual Myrtle if I keep talking and, to them. <laughs> I'm gonna have, uh, Myrtle and, uh, Wyatt, both of you kind of pick up that Zenny's, like, upset, and this is... Myrtle, I won. You, you're the captain. You're a bit more empathetic. You know that, like, all I've seen is your, your family upset. Wyatt, you're worried more that, like, Zenny could do something, I don't know, off the chain a little bit here. Go a little un, little, little, little rogue on the, on the group. Wyatt's and... seen me practice my shooting. Well, you know, he's not saying, he's not saying you'd miss. He's just saying, like, you're going to shoot someone. <laughs> and, and he would know the feeling because of, like, him and he has not, Yeah, he has had <laughs> anger issues. Oh, he has, yeah, yeah, he yeah. has gone through yeah, yeah. gone through OPA anger management, so... Right, I think right, Waxer's right. trying to also keep it going yeah. by like. Hey yeah. Waxer, you want to take uh, Zinni over there and search a couple more of the crates? If there's anything of uh, use we can use, other than this one straight stun grenade and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I, Cap can talk to. I'll take a. The doctor here about what's going on. Maybe we can we can find peace here. Let's find some peace. I don't really want to die today. I don't think any of you want to either. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I kind of grab Zenny. I'm like, hey, hey, look, look, yeah, yeah. We gotta breathe. Hey, don't let the egghead get you. Yeah, just uh, you know, she's gonna help us get off. Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, hey, look, we just. I think focus she's gonna actually. Stuff. She's gonna die. And she's gonna make us die. You realize that, right? Yeah. Oh. Well, we're gonna all die together. <laughs> that's me. Uh, that, that's not what I wanted to do today. That's yeah, not yeah. what I wanted to do today, Waxer. Yeah, I mean, it was different yeah. when we were elsewhere. When we were in the ring, this is this is different. Sure, sure. She got a. Yeah, hey, she got a friend coming. Uh, Copang gonna help us. Uh, I'll give a sure, blood. Sure. You know, we, we just take on the sure. shit. You know, hey, sure. we got maybe space you don't. Maybe, hey, don't hey, maybe you, maybe you don't give them blood. Maybe you don't do that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We'll give them uh, your blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we just don't give them anything. Yeah. We we'll see. All <laughs> we just gotta get out. We just gotta, uh, you know, bargain, make it work. Yeah. Barter. <clears throat> or we lie. Yeah. Well, I. That's. Wax it don't lie so good, yeah. Well then maybe you don't maybe but maybe you try. Maybe you gotta get better at that. Yeah, okay. Let's see, yeah. We're just sort of like bantering as we're like yeah. uh, opening and throwing. Yeah, just like I'm just trying like, to put stuff yeah. nicely now. I'm all yeah. sort of like and and Zenny is not. It. Zenny stopped yeah. being nice about it. So Myrtle, Wyatt, and uh, Medea are in the lab. Myrtle, you're kind of close to the door. You guys came through the office, and you hear like a series of kind of knocks at the door. You hear like a like kind of a you know tap 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 at the at the door. Um, okay, I, I'm gonna look over at Wyatt and just kind of like. It's fine. I know him. I called. He called. You stay here. Don't touch anything. Don't look at anything. You look at anything for more than five seconds, they will explode. Just look down at the floor. You'll be fine. Um, and, and if you look down the floor, Wyatt and Myrtle, you, you notice the. Like, uh, I mean, there's like a pile of sedatives. Uh, I mean, there's like there's like uh, amphetamine sedatives. I mean, there's a lot of drugs in this room. Like whatever whatever condition you're interested in being in, you could be in within a matter of minutes with, with the drugs in this room. And the doctor is on She all turns of around. Them. I want to take yeah. a all of them at the same time. All right. So you, yeah, you actually grab like a you grab like a, a set of like pe- like pill based sedatives. Um, and uh, okay, cool. Um, you go, Medea, you come to the door and uh, you go th- you go into the office and you can see that uh, you can hear a little bit of tap on the other side and. It's the, the tap that the, that the lieutenant and uh, the ensign have used to get in, so you're pretty okay. sure it's nav. Okay, so I'm gonna. And you open it crack up. Crack open the door. This, yeah. this this Martian man comes in. He's got kind of a little bit uh, a little darker skin, black hair. Um, and he goes, he goes, what? What the hell happened to Kim? He's like, holy shit. He's like, <laughs> there's some people you need to meet. I, what? It's like, I saw I saw the news. Do you really do this? 
So yeah. She pulled I know. a gun. She pulled a gun on, on a security officer. I trying to take one it's hostage. Not... You see this? And he like pulled it up. He pulled it, pulled it. And you can see like her like trying to. She takes a gun like from um, one of the officers, and like grabs the grabs him and puts him into like a like a hole and puts a gun to his head, where the other officer just shoots her like pretty much in the face, from a bunch of people. It's terrible. He's like he's like what the hell got into her? What what would make her do this? I don't and, know. It's unlike who, her. Who do I have to meet? Just follow me. So yeah, she's gonna yeah, okay. lead them into so the lab to meet Myrtle. Go to the lab. Myrtle and, and Wyatt, you're kind of standing there, straightened up, and you see this uh, this man, uh, a little bit dark skin, kind of like uh, black hair. He's pretty, you know, decent, decently fit, maybe like a uh, like late twenties, early thirties. Uh, he goes, uh, and he's wearing like a Martian officer's uniform, and he's sitting there, and he goes, Who, "Who's all this? Who are you?" I'm, I'm Lieutenant Kim's uh, co-pilot. Uh, we've been working together for the last five years. I'm, I'm Ensign uh, Kamal. All right, Mr. Kamal, uh, what do you know about Lieutenant Kim? Uh, I mean, she's she's. I've been, we've been piloting, running ships back and forth, doing logistical work, and and she brought me into our deal here with Medea. Uh, but what, what, what's your guys's deal? What I mean, but, you know, we we run we run just crap up to ships, and sometimes we don't. Not everything is delivered, or there's losses, and we kind of it falls kinda, off. It falls, it falls off, off, yeah. And 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 then an Ma- Medea mistake. here can recombinate and do some magic with these chem decks, and we've been selling it. Can so you the, get us off this this rock? Uh, shit. Uh, I'm used to getting stuff on here, not get it off. Uh, where where do you need to go? We have a ship that's orbiting right now. If you can get us to that, that'd be. What 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 ship are you guys on? And he's kind of he pulls up his data pad like he's gonna look it up and shit. I'll look back at Myrtle and see what she wants me to say. Might as well. We gotta get out of here. Sinclair. Where is he? His eyes get real big, and he looks he looks at Medea and he goes, "You're fucking OPA Navy." Whoa, 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 like, like, whoa, whoa, you, you're you trying to get me in a fucking, like, this is like, like, high treason shit, guys, like, he's like, Zenny is... sighs so loudly and is going to pull out her gun and point it towards this okay, you fellow. Come in, you come in, the, you come around the corner with your gun pointing this guy, but, and he's yeah. like, look, whoa, okay, yeah, he, like, backs up to the wall and shit, he's got his hands up, he, like, he knows he's beat, he's not trying to, like, fucking mouth off and shit, you know, he's, like, <laughs> all right, super... All right, all right, everybody. Okay, just everybody just calm down. Look, we don't want you guys to get any kind of trouble. We just want to get out of here. We don't want to drag you in. And just, you don't need to know this, but just so you know this, we're trying to get away from the OPA Navy, Uh right? So we don't want any trouble with them. We don't want any trouble with you. We just want to get out of here. Your whole thing about helping us for blood. This man, our friend Waxer, our family. Hey, the fuck hey, I wanted one little blood sample. Well, here's it's the for thing. the good of science. Jesus Christ. He's here's a, he's the thing like, about like, you and oh. you doctors. Yeah, you can't judge me. No, here's the thing, is that nobody treats him like a human being, and he's a human being. He's a belter. Oh. He's, yeah, he's a human being, so... Zenny moves gonna... <laughs> the gun towards <laughs> this doctor so very quickly. All right, doc. <laughs> I'm going to say, look yeah. at him. He's seven feet tall. Clearly, feet. something's not eight. He's eight feet tall. Clearly, there's something going on. And in the name of science, I want to find out what it is. You can't blame me for that. Um, I certainly can. Yeah, I can. You're science, racist. Science turns it's in him the name into of that. science. <laughs> like, and so I'm trying Myrtle to figure is, out why. Look, wax. Myrtle is like this. calm all the yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. And like, <laughs> now I'm mad. Like, this is the first time that Myrtle has been mad. <laughs> okay, here we go. And I'm just like, look, you're just like those other people that are doing that shit with the protomolecule and whatever. You're not even, you're just like them. We might as well just shoot you now and just do whatever we can to get out of here because you're not worth it. You're just not worth that lady. Uh, Waxer you... kind of steps in like, you know, like, <laughs> like, hey, hold, okay, hold, hey, the, Everybody cool. We got to cool off, yeah? And I, like, look at the doctor, and I'm like, look, Wax, I was a belter, yeah? Yeah, some kind of experimented. 
on my body. Um, other doctors do it. So yeah, I've been altered by scientists like you. Yeah. But uh, that was long ago. Yeah. And uh, we're working with someone now, Pope, who worked with Lieutenant Kim. He want my blood to study. Look, I get it. You want my blood too. My, my co-pangs, my, my, my allies here, they, they're mad. Yeah, but I'm willing to do it. Yeah, you, you could study all you want. And then I turned to the Ensign Kamal. I'm like, you get us out of this place. He, and then looks, I just- He looks to Madeira like, and he goes like- Like step back, I'm like- <laughs> He's like, look, I, I, he looks at me and he's like, look, I, I do this, like we're done. Like I, we, you and I never speak again. Like it's, I, I gotta cut you off. You can't, I can't risk it anymore. You have to find a new source. Well, Kim's already dead. It's not like I've yeah. already lost enough today. And they're gonna look. They're gonna look closer at me. So yeah, the farther away I am for you, the safer you are. No, I, I, you're right. Uh, we we'll drop you off on another planet or something. I don't know, Cap. We'll arrange that. But uh, I look. I'm just gonna go back and do my job and keep my head down. That's all I'm gonna do. No, you need to take us off. Eh? No, I'll get you. I'll get you off. Trust okay. me. I'm gonna get you out of here because you're here. It's a. It's. I'm gonna, we're all gonna be in trouble. Yeah, we're all in danger. Look, I gotta, he's like, look, I got another, um, I got, I'm doing another, I'm taking another uh, load up to up to orbit here to resupply. Uh, some, some workers that are working on some stuff in the, in the wet dock. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll, um, I can get, I can get you up there then and you can try to uh, do it, but like, it ain't gonna be it's back, not gonna be yeah. comfortable, what I'm saying. It don't matter. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we belt as well. A lot look, of us. He, we he goes. Time he he goes. Yeah. He, he looks at Danny and he's like got his hands up. He's like, uh, Oh, you, my gun! My gun's not pointed okay. at him anymore. Well, it's it's so, general, it's so general, like, general, you have a gun. Yeah. And he, <laughs> directed he's like, at. He goes. He goes. He goes. Uh, hey, um, uh, sorry, miss, miss with the gun. You mind if I, I go into the crates and I, I, I grab something real quick for everyone here? I'll sure, watch. you can do whatever okay. you want. Okay, and he goes over for a second and he, he kind of comes up and he grabs one of the crates. You haven't looked at it and he pulls it out. He goes. All right, got one, two, three, four, five, and uh, yeah, I want to. This one will stretch. Um, I got, I got, I got a few vac suits here for you all. Uh, they're not great ones, but they'll do the trick. Um, I can't take you up through the. Sh I can't take you up in the ship, but I can carry you. I can carry something in the ship that carries you. Like a crate. You're gonna put us in a crate. Uh, cargo container. It'll be sealed, airtight. I look at everybody like, "This is a good plan. This could work." Yeah. Like, whatever I mean, we gotta do than, to get. Yeah. Better than the alternative of getting shot. So. Yeah. We've been in smaller spaces, Denny. It's gonna yeah. be okay. Yeah. All right. He goes. He goes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I. I. I okay. So. We get you in the crate. Get the vaccines on. You get in the crate. I load. The, we load the crate on. You have to order. I can do all that. How and he looks. He looks. He looks to. He looks at Medea and he's like about to ask you something. He's like, "We got to How do we get them though into the crate? That's the problem. I, I can't. I can once they're in the crate, I'm good. But I can't get them past that. Like I can't get them to the crate. Like that's not my thing. That's gonna look really strange. Lieutenant Kim's buddy walking around with all these people. What about you know Amber? You know my friend Rosa. Uh, she could help us. Yeah, yeah, but like, I mean, look, like, Amber's all right, but like, I mean, she got drummed out, like. Amber's, Amber's amazing at getting me what I need. She sneaks things in and out all the time. I'm just saying, you're yeah, taking this much risk she's, already. And she's got no love for the Martians, but like, I mean, can you trust her? As much as I could trust anyone else in this uh, room right now. Okay. okay. Um, but Ambar, Ambar is good for getting through the docks, but like we gotta get them from the docks or from here to the docks. Like that's like, that's a few. That's gonna be a few minute walk. We gotta, we gotta like, like what if, uh, any kind of like uh, disguises or I, I, I mean, you guys have any ideas I, here? Or? I got modifications. That's the most I can do. I mean, I'm not here for disguises. I'm here for body mods. There's only so much I can do. Well, like I mean. I got, I have a friend, he hosts a bunch of parties and stuff. Maybe he's got something. That's not a know, bad move. Just anyone. Are you moving with a crowd? Me. That's not a bad move. You moving yeah. with a crowd? He owes me favors. Okay, okay. 
Okay, look, I don't want to like, know. I don't want to know their name. I don't want to know their name. Okay, that's what's not that? a bad move. Like, I don't want to know. Anyone. Here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna. I got a. I got a shuttle, and he's like, he goes up, he pushes over, shoots over some details, and he's like, it's leaving tomorrow at uh, seventeen hundred. Gives you about uh, twenty hours. Get settled up and on and get into a crate. Uh, he's like, um, if you get if you get into a crate, have Ambar give me the crate details, and I'll make sure it's it's part of the shuttle. So the shuttle's payload. I, I, uh, I, I'm I'm gonna go get back to work. Uh, that's the best I can do, guys. I, I'm sorry. Thank you. You better promise, really? yeah, friend. Yeah. And he, I spit and, in my hand too. And he's <laughs> nah, nah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, goes, all right, so like, how, do, how do Martians keep their word? Yeah. Oh, they, don't, they don't spit. Uh, <laughs> um, he he kind of goes. Uh, look, we um. All right. Do you got you got details on where your ship's gonna be? The orbital. Yeah, we have. I mean, we you can shoot him over. Yeah. I'll, you want to shoot him over now, or you want to wait? I want to wait. Actually, I'm like, I'll give it to you right. whenever we get. All right. All right. He's like, look, I'll, I'll take the, I'll take it in when, when we get in. But yeah. Uh. Okay. 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 Yeah, I can do this. Uh, seven seven hundred tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's it. You got you guys got about twenty hours to get this together. Uh, but whatever your deal is, if you want to smell them out a party, people always go up to the docks and have an after party. So that, that's not a bad move. But uh, okay. All right. When he he goes, right, I'll uh, look, but yeah, I, I, good luck and uh, nice uh, nice working with you. Thank you for everything. Really. Yeah. All right. And he like walks out the door and closes the door and goes off to do his life. Do you have Medea? Do you happen to have um, razors or anything? Oh yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, have, I have a few. I want to find a place to shave my beard off. <gasps> so I have a bathroom. Keep me hidden more. Yeah, there's like okay. a sink and everything. I mean, it, it, there's like a clean, a clean place Leave here. I guess. Too. Don't make a mess. Right. I guess. Yeah, and you, I'm you gonna do. leave a big mustache. Though. Okay. So you, like <laughs> you go up and you you kind of. Yeah, yeah. Look, good look. Yeah, leave some extra. You know the ones that come off. I'll give them like a belter stuff. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So yeah, you start you start shaving up the beard and everything like that too. Cut it up a little bit. Uh, keep the stash. Uh, okay. All right. So you guys, so like, uh, why taking some efforts here to modify his appearance? Any anyone else? Am I finding I mean, my hair dye? I don't know how you're gonna make more modifications to somebody a bit hey, modified. Uh -uh. Once, yeah? I'm not trying to do anything to you. I want to see what they did to you. I'm not doing anything. I just yeah. want to see what happened to you. If you get answers, I look. I, yeah. Okay. And you. I'll you do what I can. Share that information with me, Waxer, because I don't know what they did to me yet. So. But, That's uh, all I'm trying to do. I won't touch a single hair on your head. Okay. After figuring. Okay getting the blood okay you have i can the promise rest you that them. yeah you help the rest of them and uh so i don't know how you're gonna disguise me but uh yeah <laughs> well we'll find a crate i guess a big, big crate yeah a big crate I, i'll find something okay and i like walk over to the cap and zenny i said hey we're gonna do this yeah we're gonna do this right like trying to get you know like <laughs> zenny still got a gun pointed at the doctor this yeah. is, it hasn't changed has not moved an inch <laughs> the hey, entire our, our, time our arms, get, arms get a little tired but yeah you're you're like like training oh, there's your gun adrenaline on it's walk. there's it's, 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 listen yeah. <laughs> I, i'm gonna look over at zenny and just like zenny looks so incredibly mad like <laughs> i think this is the most that you've seen yeah, and Zenny's not exactly like been the person to keep their cool the most, but like <laughs> there's 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 something different about how angry she is right now mm -hmm. in this moment. That's like actually scary. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, but it I'm is gonna, a little scary look, inside, but I'm she doesn't want to show any. Zen. Oh. I'm going back to my Zen look and everything, <laughs> but I'm gonna look at uh, I'm gonna look over. And, and just kind of let Zenny and just kind of give her the nod. Like, I, I'm i behind her. Whatever. I'm behind her. This is, this is not the time uh, to support Zenny. <laughs> hey, hey, Doc, uh, you got I any like more sedatives? <laughs> I have every kind of sedative you need. There is plenty of sedatives. Yeah, and, and like, yeah. yeah. yeah mm. uh, but no, yeah, they. Like, like anything. Yeah. Genuinely yeah, maybe, anything. Maybe give to me, I'll give to. Uh, Relax uh, some tension here, yeah? Okay. So Medea gives you a few like pill sedatives, you know, right. she like kind of subtly tries to 
hand them over. Right. I just sort of like, yeah, I just like cut up, yeah, bring like them a, over. Yeah. You got like a handful of like five pills. Okay. Oh. I'm going to keep it in mind just in case I get, you know, I <laughs> give some of the cap to just, you know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Maybe help uh, not just kill all of each other. Yeah. Right now, we got to get off. No, I'll just keep them in my pocket. Yeah. Um, hey, well, you're the guests here. Is there anything else I can help you with? I guess. So uh, this angle okay. about this angle about trying to bring that out through a group to the docks is kind of interesting. Uh, do you want to call your contact for that? Yeah, I will get my little data pad and I will call up Lido Fick. Yes. Hello, party okay. buddy. All right, so you call it Lido, and uh, you go Zeg. Uh, hey, Doc. Oh, well, it's good, good, good timing. Good timing. <laughs> Bad. Yeah, I got an like, event. I got an event tonight. I'm hosting. What? Uh, what you? What you got? What you got on the uh, the menu tonight? Oh, uh, you know, thinking about a like after party at the docks. You know, just trying to like get a big group. Yeah, you know, just, no, like uh, traveling party, just super the, super the, chill. Hey, the party ain't the problem. That ain't the problem. But we want to know what you're gonna fuel it with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I always provide. I got the good know, stuff. Man, but, you know that. But look, I want to. I want to coordinate. I want to make sure the colors go with the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like the music hey, goes with the vibe. Thinking? So we want. We going up. We going down. Which way are we going with this one? Right. <laughs> Anything you want. I. I feel like I'm in a good mood today. Okay. okay. I'm. Okay, I'm willing to do what you want me to. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it. Let's keep it up and keep it upbeat. Okay. Cool, man. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Yeah. If you got some of that. Uh, uh, I want you to set. Uh, uh, I'm asking you. Um, <laughs> so, so Maria, I want you to come up with a name for an upper Martian synthetic drug designer drug that you've come up with as a character. Oh, I need your okay. Names. Nice. You can go oh, sign this. But I want, I, I want like the, like the street name. I want like the name like they call the party. Oh, and, the and, name and, of the and, party. And, and, no, the name of the drug they would call it. The so party. not the scientific. Not the scientific oh, name. Okay. <laughs> okay. Please the cool no. no name. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna call it Fizzers. Fizzers. Okay. Oh, I Fizzers. love it. Okay. Nice. I feel like this is be our next time. He's like, yeah, he's like, I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking for fizzers for about about a hundred people tonight. A hundred? Yeah, if you got that, you got that. I know you got those decks. You can get that stuff knocked out. Come on. Okay. Okay. Just because, just because I'm in a good mood for you. Yeah. And what's this about the docks? You want to, you want to go out to the docks? Yeah, it's a nice day. You know, I think we should all like enjoy the outside, enjoy the docks. You know, I got some <laughs> well, friends. For outside out here, right? Uh, as much as you can enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah. 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 Well, I gotta. I you know I do gotta shut down the bar to get people to uh, to uh, just to clean it up and everything like that too. Um, okay. Cool. And then um, yeah, I'll get all I'll get the the fizzies, and then if you can get my uh, my own personal my own personal su uh, subscription filled too, that'd be great. I got you. Don't okay. worry. I got you. Okay. Cool. I'll cool. throw in a little extra just for you. Cool. All right. I look you forward do to me a it. Big man. favor. He's like, all right, man. He's like, so um, are you are you delivering or we got uh, we got someone else doing it today? Um, I'll do it. You gonna do it yourself? Okay, the doctor's gonna come in the house. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, look, uh, I'm gonna open up the doors here uh, at about uh, five hours. If you get if you five hours. Us. Okay. Get some stuff, and you have most of the stuff on hand. Like this is pretty popular stuff, so you have like yeah. drawers of it, not a problem. Um, okay. And you can start synthesizing stuff to you too. But uh, and and Lido, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Thick, as it would be, is a uh, he has a painkiller addiction, so he's very yeah. And those are not a problem for you to for, yeah, to, for sure. I'll say prescribe to him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So um, you, you get off. You get off. He hangs up, and uh, it's five hours. You're supposed, to, you're supposed to show up in five hours to his bar, uh, and it's, it's called it's called Fix. Uh, it was called fix. Um, Settle. And uh, it's because it's his. And uh, yeah, so you're all, you're, all, you're got an order to go here and everything like too, and okay, place to go. Okay, so Medea's gonna hold, hang up. She's gonna turn to everyone or and address the captain. Okay. Just be like, my friends throwing a party. Five hours. Um, we're gonna get them all hopped up on fizzers. No one's gonna know a thing. I can guarantee it. Made it myself. At that time, I'll get you guys in the crates and we'll start heading down to the docks where my friend Nav will help you guys get out. You're you welcome. A dealer or a drug maker? I'm a doctor. Thank you. <laughs> I work with the arts of science to bring happiness to the people or something or whatever. Enlightenment. Is this work? Yeah. I mean, would I know? Would Waxer know what this drug is? Just curious. Just because. Um, I mean, you're here. You heard. You kind of hear about it. And you're, you're like, 
you heard the name and it, it has kind of a belter tone to the name and the guy that she was talking to was definitely a belter mm. um i mean you're guessing it's some sort of like stimulant yeah. uh that it's, said though you're not as with uh you're you're not so usually when belters have drugs that they're fond of it's usually made out of stuff that they would find on ships normally and if it's an upper it's probably derivative of some sort of stimulant um, something you would use like in emergencies to keep like a pilot awake or something like that or, or combat uh, and if it's Martian based it might be like derivative of combat drugs ah uh, gotcha but this is like yeah it'd be like a watered down combat drug maybe okay like a bunch of adrenaline just like it's really yeah. helped up yeah yeah okay Great. yeah yeah you I mean this is gonna work yeah this is this is what we gotta do yeah it'll work it'll work about a, over over a course of hours, uh, Medea, uh, unlike usually, you actually just lot you can do this a lot faster. Uh, you have help from your these people. Uh, Waxer, this guy seems to be pretty good at like packing stuff into a into a crate and stuff like that too. And you you manage to pack up a pretty good box of uh, your fizzies. It was fizzies, right? Fizzers. 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 Okay, so you got the fizzers. fizzers. I'm gonna slide yeah. a hand one of those if I could. Yeah, yeah you got a fizzer. <laughs> She'll Probably. give one to you. She'll okay. just like she's <laughs> like yeah, offering. Like, like do you want one? Literally pulling the drawers of these, yeah. You want to try one? No, I just want to look at it. No, no, I'm just like, right. I want to. I mean, you guys, you, you, you've seen these kind of drugs before, and it's it's a stimulant. It doesn't, it isn't like, it isn't quite as fast acting as Pixie does, because Pixie just puts you up there pretty quick. This is more of like a slower burn over time, um, more of a kind of a party drug. And uh, I mean, I'm going to let the, the XO know. I don't want to get okay. like in trouble later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So you guys, um, you guys, you load this crate and everything I got to you. Uh, then he's been kind of um, doing something else out of sight, we'll say, just kind of trying to like work through it. Uh, there's a bed in here, I might add too. There is there is a single like like mattress on the floor type situation. Um, what about Myrtle or Wyatt? Anything you guys want to do while while this uh, getting this stuff's getting packed up and ready to, to move out? And we're still in her. Yeah, yeah, you're in the you're in the warehouse. Yeah, unless you want to go out. Like to, I want to go over to Lieutenant Kim's side and see if I can find anything of use. Um, not really to hurt anybody, but if we're being chased, something I can There's use. like toolkits. I mean, you you can yeah. find like like a toolkit that has like screwdrivers and shit and like yeah. But she wrench. doesn't have any other weapons really besides no. like the one that Medea carries. Like they don't really carry a bunch of weapons or anything. Yeah, like and you knew Kim had like a had like a sidearm, but that's about it. But it's nothing yeah. major. I mean, you find some pistol ammunition, but you guys are back on ammunition. So. Yeah, I'll just keep. I'll just kind of wander around looking at yeah. stuff. I, if you want to find anything that's like a, like an instrument to hurt someone with, it'd be like a toolkit. Like you could find something. I got my pistol and yeah. a stun grenade, so I don't need. That's anything. gonna be a lot better than anything oh, it's else. Just, it's just me and my pair of hammers. <laughs> 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 um, but uh, what about you, Myrtle? Um, I'm gonna just kind of keep an eye on everybody and and kind of also check on any kind of news that might be coming around. Okay, um, you start checking the, the, you're watching the news through the feed, the public feeds and everything like that too. And it's just like Lieutenant Kim's things being blasted about that like uh, there's a treasonous thief. Um, they're trying to, it looks like they're launching investigations into her past and trying to actually like double check her stuff. Um, your concern is that this guy Nav might be uh, questioned in, in the next few hours. Like they'll trace it back to him somehow. Right. But as far as her stealing the stuff, though, it's all just like she came in with some people they didn't they don't know, and they're looking for this pair of Martians that were in officer uniforms, um, and they're actually IDing you as a Martian. And they, um, like our faces? No, like like they you they assume you're a Martian because you're wearing officers gear, oh, but they but they're not entirely it. sure. But they do have like they do have like a, a slight scan, and you can see the composite that's coming through the AI they've assembled. And it's not an exact match of your face and White's face. It doesn't look much like White now because he doesn't have the beard, but um, it does kind of capture your haircut a bit, um, and definitely your height and your your um, your stature. So like your overall like physique is kind of captured. In the, um, they could probably ID you if they got like a good like like good clear image of your body through these cameras, but you might be able to hide some of that through like either, you know, I mean, you could like have like, a tunic on or something like that or something different or kind of like. Uh, change the way you move or something like that you might be able to help out or yeah. carrying something would, would change up your, your your the way you walk quite easily actually yeah i might it's just like if you know if wyatt's done looking around and has mm. got his i'm gonna just kind of look around to see if there's any kind of clothes like hats clothing or anything like that um, that 
Yeah, you find like, uh, you actually find like, uh, like a doctor's kind of outfit. So like, there's like a doctor's mask and kind of like, uh, like head, head, uh, the head wrap or what we would call it, like the, the head stuff they wear, like a hairnet, basically type right. of situation. Right. So there's some stuff like that too that could help out. Um, there's like some medical gowns, crap like that. Um, paper clothing, which is pretty common to find anywhere. So it's just, it's just general random shit like that, but nothing special. Okay. I'll just kind of put some random shit together that okay. won't. You, you put on some like paper clothing. My... You put on some yeah. paper clothing over your t- over the thing, so it's just like it's 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 it feels kind of cloth like, but it's just, it's paper and it will eventually just integrate. You don't really, you never you don't really wash it; you just recycle it. And you can find actually some of these uh these head uh hair nets that are kind of used for medical hair nets and everything. So uh, that would, that would probably be a pretty good way to conceal your hair without having yeah. to shave your head. <laughs> so and yeah, Wyatt always has his hair slicked back, so now it's just kind of. And you, have, and you have the rough. Okay, it's all rough. Makeover. Make yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, make make yeah, make under. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I look like hell. Yeah, yeah. You've never seen. I mean, you've seen Wyatt drink, but even when then, he didn't look this bad. Like, so he's like really trying to go to town. Excellent. He's like, you know, he's like, you know, you, you cut yourself shaving there, and you're like, yeah, roll with it. Like, you know, embrace it. You know. Um, okay. So, um, but yeah, Merle, you do notice that uh, Wax was doing pretty good. With the doctor here, kind of working together, and they actually are pretty calm as a team like it actually you, you notice Medea kind of calms down in, in agents activity it's not quite as a uh, high high energy we'll say as it has been with Medea <laughs> so but you guys get everything packed up you have you have a nice little uh nice little box there it's a pretty good size of stuff ready to go uh to move over to uh the elites uh place there uh you're ready to go all right what, what could go place? wrong yeah <laughs> don't say that everything <laughs> All right. Um, how do you do? You guys want to head out, or how do you want to do this? What is the? She's gonna get her blood sample first. She's gonna make sure it's running in the lab before yeah, she says takes... goodbye forever. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're not. You're not. You're supposed to deliver the stuff. Yeah, but oh, like, okay, what am I gonna okay, get a blood you're... sample there? Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. That's true. Yeah. That's unsanitary. Uh, not that kind of bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, I right. have standards. Yeah. And we're not playing Vampire the Masquerade. That would be appropriate. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you go ahead. And, uh, she goes to. She Grabs up, you grab like the auto syringe, and uh, you go up to uh, Waxer. Waxer, what are you, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm just gonna flex and get the craziest okay. vein going. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> My neck. Okay. Oh, yeah. so, you, you take the sample, no problem. You, you, pull, you pull a pretty good sample, uh, about two vials worth off, off this auto thing, and uh, it's a pretty good amount to work with. Uh, do you want to do anything? Do you want to go refrigerate it and just throw it in the refrigerator? Yeah, okay. I'll so go, go store it. Make sure it doesn't store. go bad while okay, I'm cool. doing this. So you guys got about uh you guys get this crate together uh how do you guys want to walk around deliver this uh, i heard uh, myrtle's kind of like put on some of this extra clothing uh it's kind of like a they're kind of like there's paper over clothing they're not like they do have colors i mean it's not just like a white lab coat but it has some color to it um, is there like um something you know kind of like something that might be like a clipboard type thing where i look like i know where i'm going yeah. yeah, I got, I got you know, stuff. That whole thing, if you got a clipboard or something. And what, you, no one questions it. No one ever questions you. It looked like you know what you're doing. Yeah, it's more I of like, a, it's it's more of like a larger data pad. Yeah. Um, kind of in, like something you'd use for inventory where it has scanners on it too. So it can, right. it can scan inventory as we kind of go past it. But yeah, you grab, they do have something like that here for sure. Yeah. But I think Waxer after explaining like if there's anything about the crates or moving it, I'm going to probably get in the crate because I'm the one who probably can't be. You can't really. You're get into a full blown yeah. crate. Well, I mean, unless there's something that, I mean, I feel like I can't get disguised unless I could. Yeah. I mean, it's a belter party, I suppose. Uh, I mean, you could try a different gate or try to like walk around differently and stuff like that too. <laughs> okay, but... yeah, I'll do that. I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll you, could, uh, you could be the one carrying the thing too. Oh yeah, maybe yeah. I'll do that. I'll carry it and sort of try to hide. Your my... face kind of like hides behind mm-hmm. the thing, yeah. Huh. All right. Uh, Zenny would have tried to find like either like uh, a bandage or some kind, something to go around their neck, because the tattoo is very yeah. obvious. There, there's like yeah. to- and there's like, to- yeah. there's like torn neck. up, there's like some torn up uniform officer or officer uniforms you could use. You could wrap that up and have kind yeah. of a scarf. And it kind of looks oh, like yeah, a yeah, scarf. I'll do the gauze and oh, stuff. Yeah, I'll do, the them. Yeah, it's, I'll it's do like a- the scarf. It looks better. Thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like a scarf. It's it's like a really like like just scraps of, of just like uh, scraps of fabric. Yeah, from yeah, like a pant leg, up, from like a pant leg of the officer's uniform. And like you just kind of wrap it around. I mean, it looks rough, but it's kind of belcher chic. Uh, yes, <laughs> cool. Well, so yeah, you wrap it up. All right. Um, all right, you guys kind of start getting ready to uh, march on out here. Wax was carrying the box there. 
keeping it in front of your face a little bit. Yeah. Um, and uh, Medea, you, 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 you went, are you taking them to Flix? Yeah. Okay. I mean, she's just she she Good. maybe takes off her lab coat because she doesn't want uh-huh. to get dirty, but that's really it. Um, we're gonna need that again here. <laughs> well, I should I should mention too, like in, in the expanse, they tend you tend to just reprint a new lab coat. You recycle the old oh. one, print a new one. Yeah. Okay, so, but she just recycles yeah. this. Right. One. So yeah, you recycle, you put in the recycler, and there'll, there'll be a new one. There'll be it'll print on a new one here in a matter of uh, seconds, three if you want one. But yeah. like yeah, you go up and you uh, just like, you just have kind of your casual clothes on. There you go. Yeah, you have yeah. like a like a little like a zip up there. Yeah. Kind of professional, and you you go through the city and you uh or what the tunnels here and such, and you walk up uh and you guys see this like kind of makeshift bar it kind of reminds you a little bit of like the the, the uh, upper levels of series towards the center of series where it's kind of rougher although the coriolis is nowhere near as bad but you're um you can kind of see what looks to be like what it probably was at one point like a, literally a warehouse or kind of a front and now there's like a bar in there and everything like that too and you can smell them distilling stuff it smells like mostly um i don't know why it and merlin it kind of it reminds you a lot of what um but kind of what uh, Onyx used to drink. You get, you get that fragrance of like uh, of like lubricants being distilled into alcoholic beverages. Ah, I miss my friend. Gotta go. Eh, maybe you have a drink from on the way out, right? Okay. So um, as you guys come, as you come up, uh, Medea, you see uh, you see Leap Flick. And you leap like he sees you go ah, <laughs> the, the 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 woman of the hour gonna make the night, huh? <laughs> That's me. Yeah, he's like, oh, so you got you got a crew now. You you getting big? Yeah. Bigger. You you ain't gonna get, too, you ain't gonna get too big. There's for been flick. some changes. Oh, changes. Okay, okay. You ain't gonna get too big for flick though, right? You can still deal, huh? We still gonna work. You're good. Don't don't worry, yeah, Leo. Man. Okay, yeah, cause I was worried about that because you get too big. I I you know I, I gonna run me out of business. I can't have that. But Don't worry, uh, could... all right, all right. Uh, and like he goes to go shake your hand, which indicates that he wants his painkillers. Okay, so I'll just like have it like in my sleeve yeah, and like you, you shake his hand and slip it goes, through. Ah, yeah. Well, all right, yeah, it will be a good night. Okay, look, so, um, and he kind of looks over and he goes, uh, man, so with the, it's a bottle of loda. It was, uh, how you, how you all do, how you, how you holding up, Copangs, huh? He's looking at the two belters. I just like nod, you know, like. Nod at them. I do a higher pitch Yeah. Good. Okay. Okay, man. He's like, yeah, yeah. No, you're right, man. He's like, uh, that uh, you go put that on the bar, man. My my my, my man, good it for you. Okay. Uh, yeah. He points I over there. You can see there's like yeah. a bartender, and he's just kind of doing. There's there's no one here yet to party, but like they're like cleaning shit up and stuff like that too. He points to that guy and says, "Go unload it." All right. And he goes, uh, "What about the uh, what about this one, man? It's it's, it's good to have good to have another uh, belt on uh, Calisto. I haven't seen you before." Yeah. Uh, she's not talkative. She doesn't. Oh, I, oh no, I get it, man. They work for you. They work for you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, you pick a good crew. This is a good one, man. He's like, man, he's like, you got the, you got the whole, you got the whole spectrum here. You got some earthers. You got the yeah. monsters. I like this, man. This is cool. Okay. Okay, man. Um, I know you got a good, I, I, I'm surprised you got earth on board, man. You've been working with the Martians for so long, huh? You know what? We embrace diversity here. We just love a big range of experience and people. Yeah, yeah. No, hey, hey, man, the, all the script, it all spend the same. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Okay, man. All right. Well, you guys come. Is all, let me uh, let me welcome you all to Callisto and welcome to uh, this kind of arrangement I have with uh, Doctor Holt here. Uh, you guys all want to get a drink? You're welcome to it. We got some specials on tap. Uh, no, no, we're not working. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you like unlo- size. You like, put the crate you down. You guys are free to do whatever you want. That's so. You, you put the crate down, waxer, and the, the the bartender guy there. He goes, "Oh, he's like, he's like, thanks, man." And he's like, he's a belcher too. And he kind of opens up, takes a look at, it, and he goes, "Okay, yeah, that looks good, man." He's like, "All right, cool, yeah, yeah, this be good." He gives a big old kind of thumbs up to uh, Leeds and Leeds like, "Oh, Leeds, all that, cool, cool, cool." So, yeah, man. So, you guys want to hang around and, and hang out for the party, man? We gonna we gonna tear it up, man. Sometimes we end up going down to uh, go do some old school belt and loader stuff down by the dock side. You guys want to hang out? Yeah, they love partying. They're <laughs> yeah. more than excited. Is that what they're doing? They're holding it in. They're waiting for the yeah. waiting for the moment. Okay, man. They can barely contain their excitement right now. <laughs> okay. You know, maybe I'll just have maybe I'll just have a little drink right now. 
you know what yeah, you know no. we're, we're kind of getting the lay of the land here and and all that but uh but maybe i'll kind of start it like, going here like you don't got nothing to worry about about that Uda. he's like they the the mickeys they don't come down here and check on us man they don't care what we do down here man we ain't doing nothing special oh that's you know? good yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's good stuff man i got i got you know there are a few patrols that, that walk past once in a while but they they are we all work a deal out you know what i'm saying and uh they uh they, they fans of what i provide sweet well uh what kind of drink would you recommend for a little shorty like me <laughs> he kind of laughs he's like i don't know man You're, you guys you others like it kind of sweet uh but we got what we got here is a little more real uh look man, we got one uh we got one here we call off the line uh, let me get you, let me get it off the line. He goes, he goes up, he goes, hey, uh, he goes, hey, but you, you get, give the other, uh, an off the line. <laughs> you see the bartender that's like, they're talking to Waxer. He goes, he, kind of, he looks at, he looks at the early, he goes, huh? He goes, yeah, yeah, give it off the line, man. He's like, okay, nice young man. And he like goes up and he like kind of, it, it looks like, he's not like, it's not like a, a tap. It's more of like a spigot off of like, right. like, and he kind of pours off this thing off this like, it's like, a, it, it's not a keg, it's a more of a casket if, if by size, right. and all, not wood, but it's like a, piece of metal opens it up and this stuff kind of comes out it's pretty clear and then he goes over and he goes all right and uh he actually takes um you see him like take one of the pills out of the box that uh Medea delivered and he crushes it up and then he like mixes it into the drink Ooh. and he goes up and, he, put, he, and he puts it down on a trip. <laughs> he puts it on the he puts it down the table and it's, it's a it's decent size little glass and he goes uh yeah for the for the for the uh, yeah, no problem but Dea's suddenly like very intent on watching what happens. She doesn't get a lot of Earthers to experiment on. No, so. yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. And so is this like? Do you just like take it down, or yeah, do you just like? You, want to drink nice it. You, you want you want to sip it on a little bit? I as a look, he's like, it's your first time. I'd sip it. But if you want it to be a fun time, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Well, I want fun to come, but I don't want the fun times to come too soon. So I'll just okay. have like a little sip and right. maybe, you know, maybe my, my teammates give me, here. Give, give me a constitution tolerance test, Myrtle. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Myrtle. I think while, while, while Myrtle is like, while all of this is happening, I think Zenny like turns so that their back is, you know, to the rest of the, the uh, room and looks directly at Wyatt and very quietly, like almost mouthing, but you can hear a little bit. <laughs> they say, I'm going to kill her. <laughs> um, Do anything this time. <laughs> uh, 16. 16, okay. Yeah, it, it burns. Uh, it is, it is, you're pretty sure it's some sort of like, uh, like mechanical, like lubricant that's been distilled out combined with some sort of stimulant. Uh, you the best of both time. Ones. You really, <laughs> yeah. I'll say, I'll say this, Myrtle. You're the the paper clothing that you put on. You can hear it a lot clearer than you could a, a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you can kind of hear it in your you and you're you're not really hearing it so much with your ears anymore, so much as with your brainstem. All right. Oh, I know uh, what that's so, like. So, <laughs> <laughs> is that is that Michael or is that wax? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the above. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, just kind of like make a face, and I'm like. Yeah. That's for my man Onyx. <laughs> the, the bartender goes, Onyx, man. Okay. You go, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, that's good. You drink to your friends, man. That's good. It's always good. Both of us, we, we drink for each other, too. That's why we drink together. We drink for each other. It's all good. Yeah. He's the yeah. best Baratna. He's my yeah, family. Uh, no, man. Well, well, you know, hey, you know, look, I, this, you know, this stuff is going to get you have a good time. But you know what's a good time, too, is remembering. It'll help you remember a little bit, too. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna take those memories slowly because you know I don't want to be all earther like and start crying on the table already. You know. Two hours later. No, so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Myrtle's hair. Yeah. Gonna, like shoot Lito off and yeah. she's gonna crouch by and Myrtle like everyone. don't take any more. Don't drink any. Oh, yeah. You don't so you, need any more. So you see Myrtle's kind of drinking it and you can you can You're definitely done. see like a, a physiological, I'm emotional kind of like combina combination of things yeah. that go on with Myrtle. It's just like one sip. Just yeah. like one yeah. sip and that was it. So But Dave's gonna, gonna slowly like try and take the cup away. Like, You're done. You're done <laughs> but, for the night. All right. So, uh, Zenny and Wyatt, so, so Zenny's banging something to you, Wyatt. Do you have any response to, uh, or are you just going to Han Solo this and say, I know? <laughs> <laughs> it's only a matter of time. I'm just going to try to, like, calm her down just a little bit. Just, 
You know, uh, Waxer, I'm gonna grab some bulbs, just normal bulbs. Yeah, they got they got some beer there. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it over to like Wyatt and Zenny, and like Cap's got one. I'm gonna be like trying to find like we need we should find the best the darkest place. Yeah, closest place we we can all sit. So when it when it goes down, yeah, easy easy the, out. The place is set up where it does have a bar, and there are some seats, not a whole lot here, but it looks like more of a dance kind of place they're gonna mm -hmm. have. And they kind of have it open. Like, they kind of have it opened up into the hall with like the warehouse door open, so you can kind of see who's coming in and out. They, yeah. uh, it'd be an easy place to kind of blend in, to say the least. But um, it doesn't pour out into the hall too much. But yeah, they have a good time here. Okay. Yeah, I just yeah, kind of like look. I want to stand, have us kind of be where we can be, where we can see it, and also when we need to go, easiest way to go out. All right, cool. And uh, it's pretty much the one way in, one way out. Okay. Um, yeah, it's the great. big, it's the big double doors too. But All right. you do spot though. I will say this, Waxer, because you know how these things kind of work. You do spot that there is an emergency close uh, button off the side behind the bar. Okay. So like, there's a button. If you hit it, like it'll slam the door shut. Ooh. Um. And you, you've seen this kind of stuff in, in warehouses all the time, you know, for, okay. and they can be used for various reasons, fire suppression, vacuum, uh, emergencies, whatever it is, but it's not. I guess, uh, yeah, I'll stand off to the side, but at least where I could get okay. to that if I had to. Yeah, if you had to run over, you could do it. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Okay. And you got long arms, you can reach, you can reach across yeah. the bar. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so Myrtle's kind of sitting there, and you're sitting there with Medea. Uh, Medea, you have noticed a, a distinct reaction from Myrtle. Uh, yeah, she great. takes away the cup. She cuts you off for the night. Yeah, you, oh, really? you got okay. a counter. You got a counter drug for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you so got time. You do have. You That's do have. You, a, got. you guys have beers. You guys kind of hang out. People start coming in. They start playing music. It's pretty. It's pretty uh, dissonant. Um, the best way I can describe it is uh, Belgian music. Is kind of like it's kind of like calypso. It's kind of like industrial calypso. Ooh. I was feeling the rage. From yeah, it's like very, dis <laughs> it's like very discordant, heavy calypso is the best way to describe it, with lots of samples and, and, and weird shit going on in a while. Um, and you kind of like people start having a good time, and more people coming. Most people coming in are belters. There's there's a few earthers uh, and a few and a few Martians, but most people are belters. You can tell they're getting off work. Um, some of them didn't even change, so there's like wearing like whatever kind of like uh, flight suit or overalls or coveralls are wearing, whatever it is. Some kind of dressed up a little bit, had their hair done, maybe they're between shifts or whatever it is. Um, but you're, you're guessing there's probably something like like 80 people in the space um, on top of the the, the staff of five that are running it and, and the owner. But everyone seems to be kind of bumping the music going. People are drinking. Um, who's drinking? Who's doing what? That's what I'm gonna ask. I'm it's not drinking at all. The drinking okay. I'm like fake drinking like watching you know I'm just trying to keep an eye for the moment where it hits and we can start like getting ready what about Myrtle yeah I've just I've got a bolt <laughs> but I'm not actually doing anything with it I'm just kind of grooving to the music okay. but like looking around you know a lot and... okay. but I'm not drinking anymore I'm just kind of holding it so I don't look weird that I'm in a bar <laughs> looking around all right so as you're as you're standing there um one of the uh this belter this this uh this belter man comes over to you myrtle and he kind of leans over because he has to i'm tall <laughs> and uh, he leans over and he goes he goes you know hey you come here often <laughs> uh not often enough apparently yeah man he's like you you get the why are you why are you drinking the small stuff man we're having a good time they got specials here man Oh, yeah, I had some of the special earlier. It was uh, really interesting, but, you know, I'm trying to pace myself, you know, where I come from. It's a little sweet, not oh. very strong. So, you know. That's what I hear. Look, he's like, um, you got to have a good time, though, man. You got to have a, you got to take it easy. You got to have fun. You got to let loose and everything. And like, but uh, I get it. You got to shift in the morning. You got to wake up and be clear headed yep, for it, man. They, yep. they, they, I don't know where you're working. I mean, you look, you look pretty put together compared to a few of us. But like, they, uh, they do a lot of testing on you, huh? They, they test. They do the. They make you take the breath thing in the morning. Yeah, man. It's just. It's. You got to get yeah. in the union. You got to be in the union. They don't let. Yep, they don't do that to us no you, more, man. You got some data on that. Yeah, man, he's a whole man. He's like, I get you, I get you some organized information. He like passes you a card, and it's like, a, it's like, a, it's like, it's like he kind of shoots over, he pulls out the data pad, and shoots over some details to your data pad. It's like details about their union meetings and everything. He's like, yeah, you should, you guys should unionize, man. There's no reason to work on your own. 
that's how oh, the that sounds work. like a great idea. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, man. He's like, don't, don't get me wrong. I got a ship right after this. And you see him take that that on that offline shit. He's like just chugging it. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck. He's like, and he's like, and then he like he looks back and he goes, he goes Union, and like they're all fucking like everyone's like screaming. No one hears them. And the music is going. <laughs> and he gets back on the dance floor. Thanks. All right, man. I wonder um, what he did. Yeah, man. So, um, <laughs> then we had, uh, Medea, you're kind of hanging out watching the, the people kind of enjoy this concoction that's a combination of, of uh, what uh, Lita's putting together behind the bar and then what your contribution is. Um, and Lita's kind of sitting there chilling out in the, in the side, like a little, little off. Uh, you can tell they've been taking some of the painkillers that you gave them earlier uh, to kind of take the edge off. Um, and and you, you know that Lita has like a bad back. Uh, yeah. it's, it's from being out in zero G and having to come for so long and coming down to Kalisto. Even with Kalisto's small grab, he's kind of affecting, affecting yeah. them. Um, do you have anything else you want to do? Uh, she's just kind of like watching. She's like, she wants, she keeps watching Myrtle to see how the fizzer kind of affects her. And then also like, she's watching Myrtle Lito. Did, Myrtle didn't, didn't drink enough of it and seems to have oh, okay. completely left the, the glass off and kind of seems to okay. have forgotten it or decided okay. it was not a, watched an after school special. And I, did it to be, it uh, I did it to be kind and kind of not cause any okay. suspicion, you know, just kind of, okay. it's like, oh, let's look at that cute little <laughs> earther and see how we can mess her up. You know, yeah. just kind of go in with the groove to kind of make it look like. She will prevent any of you four from drinking anything that isn't just a regular bulb though, because oh. she does not trust y'all on something to enact this plan. Well, I'm just kind of curious. I want to kind of ask, I like what if we're have sort of standing here waiting. I want to see, kind of find out how the doctor got into what she's doing. Sure. Like, what, what? Yeah, so you go, like, so you guys, you guys how, how you there, get, yeah, how do you get into there, this? You have your drinks yeah. and you guys are kind of outside front just shoot the shit. Yeah. What you going to say, like, Waxer? I'd be like, hey, so uh, how do you get involved in all this? Yeah, doing all this uh, pharmaceutical stuff working with lieutenant kim i mean it's not a safe business yeah i mean i was in a uh, smuggling and stuff and like we have our own reasons making credits you know and stuff like that but uh you seem like yeah uh, you're not in it for just the script yeah i mean i started off on mars you know i was one of the brightest of my age you know totally headed towards the pharmaceuticals and i got a little too excited or they weren't ready for my ideas for the world, which I think is BS because I have great ideas and I could change the world with the stuff I do if I really wanted to. But Mars was not ready for that. And so I got a little kicked out and I've been here on Callisto for a while. And you know, Lieutenant Kim, she kind of provided me with the stuff I needed to continue my research a little more low key. And you know what? I mean, it's not changing the world, but I'm making people have a good time. So is that really too bad? Like, I mean, I'm doing uh, pretty well for myself. Like, what kind of drug are you trying to make uh, that's gonna, ch you know, change? Uh, you know, gravity drugs. Like, I mean, you doing yeah. any? Do you ever think about making drugs that help beltas, uh, you know, go down the gravity well or I something mean, like that? Yeah. I've been playing around with gravity, but I don't have enough belters to test on, so I can't really like. I can only do so much of myself and I can only get so many people, you know, science requires sacrifices. Oh yeah, I know, I know, trust me, yeah. <laughs> so Waxer, my question to you is, are you now, are you now a recruiter for Pope? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's right, where I feel yeah. like it was going. No, I'm just curious, okay. just curious, like it's, uh, you know, there's a curiosity of like, why, why are you even getting involved in this, you know, this kind of thing, yeah, I'm just, yeah, just probing smuggling, uh, you know, motivation, but uh, okay, huh. And I just like go back to watching the room. All right. so you guys hang out for a while, and uh, uh, Lita kind of comes out on the mic, goes, "All right, yo, we have a good time. Everybody have a good time." Go, hell, they'll scream and everything. He goes, yeah. "All right, man, we gotta move the party. We got, I gotta go back and start up the uh, the refinery. So we, I have taken about an hour to prep it. But if you guys can move the party on down out down to the docks, you're welcome to. Uh, why don't you guys take the walk? It'll help you out, clear your head." But we're gonna get some drinks for everyone to go, and everyone's ah, screaming shit. <laughs> and like they're, uh, you can see they're, they're like they're like uh, you know dealing out uh, kind of to go bulbs of this of uh, uh, the different Are they drinks. red cups? Just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> they're yeah, they're red, red cups. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's the equivalent of a red cup, and yeah, they're yeah. they're uh, they're getting some red bulbs and like they're uh, 
they're it's kind of the to go of whatever's left over at the bottom of the freaking uh cat of the bottom of the different like barrels <laughs> uh whatever kind of yeah so it's a little this one's a little more intense so when people are peeling off they're not going with everyone but there's about 30 people that look like they're gonna head down the docks and such um Waxer, did you want to grab the crate with like the the yeah. modules? Oh, in yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab the stuff. I'm like, you know, just All trying right. to hype up with everybody. Right. So you grab, so you grab like the crate with the stuff in it and everything, and uh, it's got like the modules. It's got the um, it was what you guys carry the drugs in. But you kind of like you kind of scammed it. So there's like uh, the vac suits in there and everything, and uh, you guys start heading out to the docks. You know the docks, and they start having the people kind of showing up and having a party. They're playing some music. They kind of like you can see one of the guys that's there is like. He's like hacked into like the PA system of the docks and he's like freaking playing the music of the docks and shit. And they kind of are hanging out, whatever. And people are talking about this crew seems a little more like they don't have a shift afterwards. And this part of the docks isn't being used right now. It's more of uh, just kind of like uh, it's been shifts or whatever. There's not enough business on this right now. Uh, most of the, a lot of stuff that would be here is actually currently being decommissioned by the Martians. Um, so, yeah, uh, what do you guys want to do? What's the plan? Yeah, just keep. Uh, when do we give it to? Uh, when do we they? When did they get knocked out? Yeah, it will happen. Now it's probably already waiting at the dock, so he's probably ready to, you know, like get them out as soon as we're able so, to get the whole party over. Yeah. So Nav is uh, Nav's on the. He's going to be on the ship and just can kind of like pull the thing over. Uh, yeah. But uh, Ambar would be the, yeah. Ambar would be the one you need to talk to. So Ambar uh, kind of comes by oh, and is, right. is like uh, smoking like a cigarette. And kind of comes over and goes, uh, so uh, what's uh, what are we uh, what are we getting up to today here, uh, Holtz? So she's kind of like she lowers her voice and stuff, so like the whole party can't really like tell what's going on. She's like, I got some stuff I need to smuggle out of here. I got another friend who's gonna help me get them off the planet, but I need your help getting them on docks and away. You know, you're good at that kind of stuff. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of laughs. I was I I am right. You are. But look, you know, I mean we I, I you were copaying, you cool. But uh, and like it's kinda of weird when like Ambar says copaying because Ambar is like a Martian but hangs out with a lot of belters. Yeah. And uh it's like, okay, well Yeah, I can, but I'm usually doing that with uh Kim. So this is going to be some sort of new, we're going to have to work something out a little new here. We can work something out. Kim's dead. There's nothing else you can work out with her. I heard, and, and, and I'm sad about it. I'm sad I lost my business partner. Do you want to be my business partner? Is that... I've lost this much already. I can't lose much more dignity after this. I might as well. It's just like, it's also, trust me, we can all lose a lot more dignity every moment. Uh, well, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a small, um, there's a small buy-in fee. A fee? What more do I owe you? Then they shoot over an invoice. <laughs> 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 an actual fee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dang. Yeah, and, and you see it, and it's, it's within your reach, the pay. Okay. Uh, you do have, a, you do have a decent income. Yeah. Uh, but it's, uh, I mean, it's money to, to, to spend on it. Yeah. And Ambar is like, this is a down payment for my risk. That much? You better be taking good care of me, Rosa. Yeah. I'll take, you take care of me, I take care of you. That's how it works, you know? But you gotta take care of me first. Okay. Give me Bye. a, so you're gonna do what's called an income test here. So you're gonna okay. roll three, six, and then add your income, which is six, so. And you have to beat the, you have to beat the buy-in number. Uh, 11. And then I re-roll once, right? No, that's only on the, that's only on the meth test. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be 12, 13, plus 6. 19? 6, yeah. 19, okay. So you managed to actually, like, uh, you, you, you pony up the cash and you shoot it over. Uh, it, it's quite a bit of money. It's a pretty, it's, 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 you can barely afford it. Uh, okay. it'll, it'll reduce your income score by one permanently. So you're okay. you on a five. Um, yeah. and they, uh, they go, okay. Okay, now you're serious. Okay, no, no, I like that. Once you're serious, we're all serious. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, I got, a, I got you, I got you set up here. Um, you and I saw your little request. You wanted a uh, a cargo container. Yes. Access. Okay, and what are we, what are we putting on it? Where's the, where's the goods? Kind of looking around for like a crate. It's a, 
And see like the one crate that wax was carrying, and you're like, that's it? Like that's gonna go in a cargo container? Surprise! She gestures to like the rest of the, she, all of them. She's like, there you go. Can't wait oh. to work with you. Oh, they're like, oh. <laughs> I didn't know we were doing that. Okay, I thought we were just gonna move some uh, some fizz fizzers or something. Okay. No, we're doing this. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You guys got back suits? Yeah. Yep. yeah. We're ready. We gotta right. we gotta hurry All though. Right. Look, you know, uh, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, no no no. Um uh lay flat. That's my best advice to you guys, lay flat. Don't try to move anything, don't lift a finger, just lay flat. As loud as you can. can do that. Okay. And try right. to like uh if you got a mouth guard, put it in before you put your helmet on. Okay. Good luck, you guys. Gonna need it. Uh this yeah. is going to be too much. Yeah. Fun. Thank you for getting us this far, yeah? All right. Yeah. We're gonna do this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, look, um Yeah, what about you, Medea? You going with them? You staying here? I'm staying here and I'm continuing my research. I got a whole new project to crack open back at the lab. Okay, okay. Is this the kind of project uh, you need some help, some materials on or what? Probably. Um, you'll get a, you'll get some information later once I figure uh, out what I need. Kind of last, Ambar kind of last goes in. I just invoice me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. But look, uh, I, I I appreciate it. This is gonna be a good adventure. We'll, we'll get back on our feet here, huh? Kim, that's gonna suck, but we we, we can deal with it, you know. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, and Ambar kind of like uh, gestures to all of you to kind of follow her. Takes you up to like a, an area here. There's like a there's a crate. It's like a, it's like a large cargo container currently in a um, it's it's like in like a oh, a dry dock situation, so it can like it can go back to vacuum quickly. Um, and uh, you uh. He looks at this point says one and says the 17B, that's your ride. And it's just a cargo container. I mean, it's right. just like metal, little reinforced here and there. But I mean, it is a cargo container. This is the kind of thing you shove shit into and hope it gets, comes out good on the other side. Um, there are like there are like places and, and you've seen these plenty of wax, like you know the specific model and everything uh, before you even open it. And it's got like um, it has like straps in there, so you can you can strap down your guys' crate with the uh, the modules in it. Um, you can, but as far as people goes, not really something you go grab. There's no crash couches, none of that shit. It's like you lay flat as you can and hope it. Yeah, you're okay. I'll try to do my best and like uh, suggest the best formation for us. <laughs> like, you know what I mean, like it's, what would make sense? It's got know. enough room for everyone to lay out pretty okay, flat. Good. The four of you, but um, yeah. Okay, uh, and and you guys would just be waiting for the ride and everything like that to do. Amber so we goes, keep it on our vac suits now. Yeah, yeah. If you want to? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm gonna. You guys start, start suiting up. Yeah. Every kind, of, every kind of strips down and starts suiting up. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, like you know, you can't, you can't, can't put the vac suit over a vest or something like that. But um, mm -hmm. you, uh, you guys trying to start like strapping up here, and Medea, you're standing there with this crew of people. Uh, Ambar's kind of like checking the thing and like moving some numbers around. You can tell Zenny and, and Wax. You pick up what Ambar is doing. Ambar is like. Like um, what's it called? Faking the like, like uh, spoofing this 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 freight into like the system. Mm -hmm. mm. They're they're creating like sort of a false record and everything like that too. It'll work, but uh, someone will figure it out sooner or later. But it'll probably be too late by the time they figure it out. Mm. And yeah, goes, you know, uh, just come back on her. Don't worry. Yeah, Zane. and, and, and Am <laughs> Amber goes. This. So what? What did you all do? Were you? Uh, what you all do? You have to get off world this way. Do you really want to know? You don't want to know, Kobang. Yeah. I'll put you in danger, yeah? <laughs> and she kind of laughs. He's like, you don't think this isn't going to put me in danger already? <laughs> like, I'm, yeah. I'm shoot. I'm putting you all in a can, shooting you in the space. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna do some, yeah. yeah. We're going to get something good that's going to help uh, build us, yeah? I just, like, okay. make some bullshit up. Yeah, kind yeah. of. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> no, yeah. It's true. Um, you know, so... Yeah, and, and kind of talk about this thing. You guys got like a few hours before you're going to be sh uh, shoot off there. But, um, but yeah, you're, you're standing there talking to them. Uh, do you have anything you want to talk to them about before they go or questions you want to ask any of them or uh, get some She's really excited to get back to her lab. She's like kind of antsy. She's like, okay, bye. Okay. Let's see. All right, so. She's so uh, going to die. So, so you guys <laughs> she does, so she does like, she does rifle through her pockets. She's like, 
like, hey, I didn't really want to give you these because like they're mine, but she offers some sedatives to you guys to make the oh. ride a little like smoother and easier. Cause yeah, actually it's not gonna a be a little, idea. Yeah. It's gonna be a little rough. So she offers some like pretty heavy sedatives. It's so like, y'all will be able to yeah, they're like sedatives and muscle relaxants and like yeah, stuff like so. that. It, it's, it's like, there's not an even distribution of them. It's kind of like yeah. a handful. Oh, she yeah. just grabbed, she grabbed I mean, I'm going to need a lot. Waxer's a big dude. <laughs> like, yeah, but she offers, like, she lets you guys divide them up. So she just, yeah. like, yeah. offers a bunch of pills. Oh. All right. So, yeah, Medea, yeah. Appreciate Medea that, yeah. Offers your parting gift. Uh, Zenny, do, <laughs> do you have any parting gifts or? No. I have nothing. <laughs> My gift is silence. My, my, my gift is life. My gift is that you yeah. don't. My gift is that you can continue living yes. for yeah. whatever brief period of time you are allowed to live. My gift is that you don't get a limp out of here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, so, so Medea Holtz walks off. Amber kind of like looks at you all and says, "All right, good luck." And uh, like you guys put, the, you guys are in the back suits, and you can see you can see that she's starting to sequence to reseal the room and to re uh, vent the the air in the room. This is just we're just getting shot into space, right? No, what it is, you're going to be put into a you're going to be put into this crate. Well, yes, yeah, and, I know then, we're in the and then you're going to seal the crate, and you guys can breathe in the crate for sure. There's only so much air in the room, though. There, there's like an emergency thing in there for like air supply. It gets an emergency air recycler, but it's not great, but it'll do the trick. And then what will happen is you will be loaded onto a shuttle, and then that shuttle will shoot off. Then when the shuttle shoots off, that's when you guys need to fucking lay flat. <laughs> it's going to be bad. That's what you take uh, the sedatives. Yeah, that's what you take the sedatives. So we're oh, so we're going into a box, and the box is going into basically what amounts to a bigger box, and that bigger box is shooting shit. And the, the bigger box going has, very fast. The bigger box has rockets. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Once we yeah, get yeah, into yeah. space, though, what's the plan after that? Is we just going to be floating and so you, you can actually coordinate with uh, Enston with the Enston uh, Kamal? Yeah. Okay. Nav with Nav. Yeah. Do you guys, you guys kind of sit there and just kind of shoot the shit, um, take it yeah, easy. Really gonna suck. Yeah, I tell like suck. I tell like stories about belt, you know, being a belter and like being in small spaces and all the horrible things that would happen. But like I'm telling it in a fun way because I don't realize that they would give him more insight. Yeah, you start telling like, stories yeah, one about guy, like yeah, yeah. You, 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 you and you and Zenny would probably be able to bond over this. But you start talking about Teddy the detective. Like, you know, uh, tell you the detector, always detecting, like, whenever there's a hole in the walls and, and there's a bad thing. It was a little, it was a little cartoon you watch as a kid showing you safety tips and everything. Was, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and you guys start kind of singing the songs that you remember and, and like, where... I mean, like, also, it's is, not much different what I'm used to on, on Mars. Yeah, <laughs> but yours were more, like, it wasn't... There wasn't cartoons. It was, like, a, yeah. a large man yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this crate is, like, the same size as my first ship. It was, like, big jokes. You know, just, like, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. just trying to mm -hmm. make the close yeah. space. Feel you guys you guys kind of load in, and, and you can feel the stuff moving around. And, and Waxer and Zenny, you're kind of knowing where you are in the thing. And then, um, Wyatt, you want to you wanna shoot the, uh, the deets over to uh, the Ensign? Yeah. All right, do you want to talk to him on the comms, or do you want to, like... How do you want to do that? Ask him um, any questions? No, I'll just, I want to keep it as All right. low profile. You speed him over the details and you, and you get a thing back saying received. And um, you guys, you feel this, like the thrust of it. It's it's bad. I also I let like, McNichols know that we're coming. Okay, yeah, he uh, he just kind of has himself in an orbit where he'll he'll, he'll figure out your coming basis, what's going to happen here. So okay. you guys you guys get onto the shuttle. You guys finish a load of the shuttle. You feel the shuttle left off. I need all four of you to make uh, stamina tests. Oh, yeah. Um, good luck, y'all. Yeah, good yeah. luck. <laughs> good luck. Stamina. Is, yeah, Low what's power? Constitution stamina. Oh, constitution, right. Okay. Oh, constitution. Wow. Hmm. Right, oh, here's the results. Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to burn uh -oh. some. Uh -oh. I'm burning uh -oh. some fortune. I think we all said, uh oh. Six. Oh, I hear about the question, too. Did you take the, who took the set of this and who didn't? Oh, uh, I definitely not. did, yeah. I did not. Okay. All right, so <laughs> Myrtle Myrtle, and Waxer will get a plus two to this for taking the set of this. <laughs> Won't help, but uh, I'll take it. <laughs> what'd, you get, what'd you get, Waxer? Uh, I got a, so six plus two, I got eight. Um, if I can bump up my, my, I got a one on the drama. I'm going to just bump it up to whatever, if it helps. Okay, you would need to get it to, like, like a 16. I think it's beyond oh, Never reach. mind, I'm not going to reach it yet. All right, what'd you get, Myrtle? Um, uh, 12. 12, okay. Uh, what, what was your lowest die number? Uh, one. You can push up to a five, you're good, so. Got it. Spend some fortune, okay. So you spend some fortune and you manage to like, 
uh, hold it together. Zenny, what'd you get? Uh, 19 double sixes. All right. Yeah, this is like old hat for you. You're like, whatever. Why would you get? I've been in weird spaces Six. before that I've moved quickly. Six. Okay. Six. Wow. I think I got a bad sedative. I got a bad sedative Damn. or something. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Waxer and uh, you guys can deduct your. Uh, this is actually penetrating, so it, it, you can only deduct this for constitution, not your armor. But yeah. you each take. Uh, oh, shit, I rolled like dick. Okay. You each take six foot. Of course, damn it, that rolled really bad on that 3d6. Okay. Hey. That was rolling bad. On 3d6? Yeah, oh I did really bad. I was helping That could have been. That could have been. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that could be all my fortune. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, then, and then Zenny and Myrtle only take three. So, okay. whatever. Minus three. minus our constitution? Yeah, whatever your Yeah, your, 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 your constitution. Nice. Oh, that was intense. One. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it's, it's I get a little you. tummy ache. <laughs> yeah, you get a tummy ache. You're like, yeah. And then you can hear, like, you can you can kind of feel uh, wax or, like, not relaxing. Kind of like he's like burning through the, the muscle relaxants and everything. <laughs> um, are we supposed to take him when we got in here? We're supposed to take yeah. him all the way up. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. You you go ahead and uh, you guys burn off, and at some point you feel like you go into like zero gravity. So at some point you're pretty positive, um, Myrtle, that like you're no longer attached to the shuttle. You're pretty sure he just let you fly out into space, <laughs> it's unguided. Great. I really hope somebody finds this us. Great. This is this gonna is suck. Great. I'll write his name down. I'm just right. <laughs> you guys got and you guys got about twelve hours air total, so you're you're doing okay. You're up for about you're up in the you're up here for about like four or five hours. Pretty boring. You guys, I don't know if you guys are shooting the shit or whatever it is. You're trying to take muscle relaxants to like abate your breathing too is helpful. Yeah. Uh, a few hours later, you feel like uh, you, you hear a very loud chick 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 like that. You hear like these like these something clamping on the side, and you and you guys kind of move around a little bit, get stumbled around. So that's not too bad of a, of a stop. And uh, the side of the the thing opens up, and you can see this thing with like four arms standing out there. Uh, and inside of it, you can see McMichael's. Yay, yes. our hero! And, and he's, got the, he's in the he's in the spider mech, and he he goes. Uh, you can hear him over the comms. Uh, he kind of communicates his direct like little radio frequency. He goes, "Hey, you ready to get on back on board?" Oh, yes. Don't even Bring know. us home, man. Bring us and he, home. And he like he starts kind of maneuvering it. A little bit here with this with the spider mech and moving it and you can see as like as it kind of tilts you can see the sinclair and he starts pulling it back towards like uh and you see him kind of come out the side of it where he then like uh seals it up to the side of the airlock and then the airlock starts uh opening up and everything too and suddenly you feel the pressurization of the come through and uh you guys can get into the uh cargo hold of the sinclair easily enough. nice yeah. And you guys I make it off. back to the back back to the I ship. Into the ship. <laughs> I'm into Woo. the ship. Back onto the ship. Yeah, <laughs> safety, ah. safety at best. Yeah. All right, and uh, we'll we'll end it there on that. Um, nice. That you was, made it. You made it. Oh you guys escaped from arrows. Welcome. And yes. no one died. Thank you, yes. yes. No one died. That's crazy. No one died. <laughs> I, don't, I don't kill them all the time. Just like when they deserve it. I know. It. Uh, yeah, that was fun. That means we can run into the doctor again. So. Exactly. Hey, maybe exactly. she'll find something out with her research. Maybe. Exactly. I like maybe the she... uh, I like all the, the the casual drug use. Um, <laughs> it's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah. No. I, I thought right. like totally yeah. Like better. well, I mean, just just dilute some combat stems and put in some, yeah, uh, sure just still lubricant. That'd be Why good, not? Right? Why not? I think it's I think it's funny that um, that we never left any contact information with this doctor, so we're never oh, no. hearing from them ever. <laughs> yeah. She does about know, anything. She does know about Pope. That, that might be a connection, but yeah, they you guys and, yeah, it does know you guys are OPA Navy. It doesn't for know now. all names. For now, that's true. Because all I'm saying is Zenny's not gonna be heartbreaking at all if we never hear from this doctor again. <laughs> yeah. Late smell you later. <laughs> <laughs> um Maria, what'd you, what'd you think? That was fun. Was it a good one? I like yeah. being very annoying. Okay, you're, 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 you're good you did it. it. Yay. You're, you're, you're good at it. That was a lot of fun, No, that was, no, that was good. Too. It was tense. It felt tense. It was tense. fun, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of a fun, a fun escape Enjoy. escapade. I, yeah. I kind of set it up by uh, letting you kind of... I, I, what I did was I gave uh, Samaria like a bunch of... Uh, she took the contact talent and I gave her a bunch of contacts and them kind of yeah. like... Yeah, so I used most out. of them. There's some ways forward to get, to get out. Um, that was cool, yeah. And uh, we got a, uh, we did not avenge Lieutenant Kim. <laughs> so, I mean, we well, survived. Okay, but, uh, well, this we survived. Is what I said. This yeah. is what I said. I, because we survived, because we survived, we avenged. We, yeah. we, her sacrifice was not in vain. Yeah. 
survived. This is I think true. she was expecting more, though. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, she's dead, so it's yeah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I've, avenged, I've avenged her to my satisfaction. Her satisfaction to her story. I don't, yeah. Um, all right, cool. Well, we are uh, back next week with another episode. And then I think we're off like a, at some point. I think we're off for Thanksgiving week because obviously I'm not mm-hmm. going to ask you to come play Thanksgiving week. I don't want to play. I don't want to play Thanksgiving. Week, that's personal. <laughs> uh, I love you guys, but there's a lot of shit going on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> everyone, uh, please thank you. Uh, give uh, some Samaria a big hand Yay. for her first actual play. Yeah, yeah. awesome job. First awesome time job. with the Expanse. Very fun. Uh, what, what do you think of the setting? Are you liking it as an RPG or? It was really cool. Yeah, I can't wait to watch more. Okay, good. Yeah, you get into the show more. It gets better. It gets a lot better. <laughs> It, there's I like, will there's try and find time. So incredible! It gets, it gets. So, I will say this: see, like, like my 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 precedent for them getting shot off in a cargo uh, holder is uh, a cargo um, container is set very much in season six. I will say that. Uh, so yeah. That, <laughs> you know, I, I wish yeah. I could watch more. It's just like when you have like a no, midterm every single week, you kind of gotta wild, be like man. constantly <laughs> studying. That's yeah. wild. It's a little rough. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no yeah. wonder. No wonder Medea dropped out. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, she's doing well for herself. Okay, yeah, no, I wish is. I could be working with you right now. <laughs> yeah, until yeah, she's doing well right now. Until she goes back to that lab, and then and then she and then turns, any, uh, like, hunts her down turns, later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to mention to everyone uh, once again. Here's where you can find us everywhere. Uh, you can find our uh, video on demand, our podcast, merchandise, social media stuff, whatever we're doing, past episodes, uh, our charity stuff that we that we do. Uh, in addition, you can also support us through uh, Patreon and uh, our Kofi one time, or if you want to do an ongoing thing, we try to preview stuff. Uh, we let people know what's going on ahead of time. But uh, we appreciate everyone. Thank you for watching, and we'll yeah. be back next week with more Abraxas Precipice, Molox Gambit. Woo. All right, say goodbye, everyone. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye, everyone.